it's all going this Wednesday evening. Uh, it's the Champions League. It's the English teams into this. And after some crazy games last week, uh, games that we, we sort of predicted in a way, I'll take it. Uh, Gavin Hamilton and John Driscoll here to talk through first up Man City against Real Madrid. I mean, what a game this was in the Bernabeu. Um, again, the price that Real Madrid 4.8 anywhere in the world it seems a bit weird to me, but um, uh, 40, 41 games unbeaten at the Etihad for Manchester City. The draw is 4.2, City 1.67. Um, start with you on this one, John, for Madrid. Uh, they, I mean, It didn't feel like a Real Madrid performance, but it in the end, it was a Real Madrid scoreline. They, they kept themselves in the game. They were, they were. I mean, the ability to score goals from nowhere is something that should frighten the city, shouldn't it? In this leg, yeah, and that's that's the case of both of them. I, I it was three all the first game. I looked up the xG. Real Madrid zero point six five, Man City zero point eight. So there's hard, you, there was hardly a, a proper chance in the game. For all, it was I thought really high quality game, really good technical stuff. Obviously, all three of City's goals came from long range. Um, and and Real Madrid's, um, I think the deflected Camavinga shot was just inside, wasn't it? And obviously then the Valverde volley was also inside the box, but it hardly strikes you as it's hardly a chance, was it? You know, it was a stunning volley that he, that he hit on the run. So that was the quality of this game. I said last week, to me, this, these are the best two teams in it. This this is the this would have been nice to be the final of three three. Would have had extra time, penalties, everything else. Um, I thought I thought the worrying thing for City, the reason that I'm sort of with you on that four point eight for for Real Madrid, is that Madrid were able to nick the ball and counter quite a lot, and. You don't want Real Madrid countering tackling you, countering because they've got such rapid players who are so good. Now they wasted quite a lot of promising situations, which is why the XG is so low. Even though they looked as though they, both teams looked as though they were creating chances, but not really getting into the point where they can actually pull the trigger. So I, I don't think this is a shoe in. I think, I, think it's a, I know they won four 0 last season, City in, in a similar situation. It doesn't strike me. Watching that first game, watching Real Madrid recently be solid, solid in again at the weekend and able to rest players against Mallorca. Um, I think this is well up for grabs. And so therefore 1.67 against 4.8 seems a bit too big a gap. Yeah, that, that draw at 4.2 looks big. You, you think extra time. We didn't think it was going to go to extra time last time and it just about got there uh, with a couple of goals in, in added time. Gavin, City... I know they rested Rodri at the weekend. He complained that he was he was a bit tired. They managed to rest Foden. Um, looking at the team they put out last week, and you think, well, Grealish wasn't really at the race. that They dealt with Grealish, didn't they, Real Madrid? Um, obviously, yeah. Foden they didn't deal with at all. And that was, he He, he could be the key player yeah. again this this time around. And they're without, uh, who was it? Is it too many got himself suspended? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, they're, yeah, there are, there are issues for, for Real Madrid. But City... I, are there signs of so many well, games going on? Usually they're in this competition at the end of the season and they've already won the league. Yeah, but, and, and they look like they will now, don't they? I mean, after the weekend's results, they're in a much stronger place, although you know, there's, there's still a few games to go. But they're, they're in a much stronger position than they were seven days ago. Um, and they are a machine, City. They're a phenomenal machine. It's it's impossible to second-guess Pep. Uh, you, we don't know, you know, what he what he will pull out of the bag. I mean, they've got Carl Walker back, but by the looks of it, I think he, he's, you know, okay. that that's... Something I think could shore up the sort of the right side of defence with, yeah, with with I know Vinicius Junior played more central role, but he, you know, that threat down the left hand flank is there. Uh, Walker's pace I think would would help them in in that respect. Um, but I think I think John's right. I think I think uh, I mean City are this phenomenal machine um, and are grinding. Yeah, they they, they but they still conceding goals. You know, they, against Luton at the weekend, yeah. you know, even for a mistake. So they, they, they've got a mistake them in, in every game and they can see the goal in every game. So um, you would think that Madrid, having rested players, um, quite a few players, I mean, you know, almost half the team rested the weekend, that will, they, they've got to come in into this with, um, I, I think, a real hope of, of getting some. And I think the 4.2 for the draw, um, Madrid at 4.8 is very high. Um, given given the, 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 the pedigree of not just the players but also the coach, I mean Ancelotti, you know, he he he, he sort of uh, he played uh, Ju Vin Vinny Junior in the centre, didn't he? And and Rodrigo out on the left in the first game, which sort of uh, which I, I don't think City were expecting. So he's he's capable of you know, altering things to, to you know to, to to suit the situation, and he's done it time and time before. So um, 
I'm erring on on Madrid. I mean, I think this this could go all the way. It could be a, 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 a yeah a lot of goals into extra time, possibly penalties. But I think Madrid have got something there, and I think City are this machine. But I don't think they're going to roll over Madrid by any any stretch of the imagination. So I think there's going to be goals, but it, it could be a real ding dong affair. Um, I think there's there's a, a high chance of that happening, and I, I sort of fancy Madrid to, to you know to, to pull something out the back. Uh, yes, there's the to qualify market there as well, uh, which is scrolling along uh, under your screen. I can have, uh, what was it, Real Madrid 3.35 3, against 3. the qualify. 3.3, yeah, three. Which, um, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, the other game on Wednesday night, and we will just say that's one to enjoy, and again, watch it in play in the with the clubhouse in sports, with sportsbet.io. Uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal, again, 2.42 Bayern at home. Um it's Bayern in the, it's, yes, it's Bayern Munich. Yes, they're not champions. Uh, the draw is 3.65. Arsenal 2.8 to go and win there. Gavin, this seems very tight compared to... I mean, Arsenal now put in two, for them, since Christmas anyway, poor performances. And they hit Bayern, who are very used to a poor performance. Yeah, and Bayern, and Bayern um, rose to the occasion, didn't they, um, at the Emirates? They were they were really impressive, I think. Uh, and, and, you know, we have to give them credit for the way that they performed. And, uh, yes, it's been a difficult season. Um, but they, 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 the quality was there, and they, and they demonstrated that against us, and, and it's very tightly poised. Um, and I think the, the numbers reflect that. Um, I'm, I'm erring on. The, I mean, Madrid. Uh, sorry, Madrid, Munich's. Bayern Munich's home form is, is is phenomenal in the Champions League. You know, I mean, even in the last round, yeah, losing, disappointment to Lazio, they stormed back at home in the in the return leg, um, and I, I fancy them to do it again. I think it will be tight. Um, I think Arsenal are just. I, I mean, how do how do you react to that game against Villa, losing two 0 at home in a, in a game that you, you know you on the first half performance they sh- they should have won comfortably. Um, so that how do you react to that? That's that's a, that's a big concern for them. Um, and I, I, I fancy Bayern to do it. I think this this is the season now for them, isn't it? Because of um, Leverkusen winning the Bundesliga title in the weekend. Um, so this is it, and this is this is these are the games that Bayern in the traditionally have, have stepped up to and have that experience and Harry Kane has that added added incentive as if he needs any any more um to, to, you know to perform in this game so I'm I think it's going to be tight maybe only a single goal in it maybe into extra time but I, I fancy Bayern to, to pull it off yeah it's been a long time since Bayern have lost a game at home in the Champions League John it, it, it is a tough one for Arsenal yeah, and they uh, Bayern were the better team in the first game as well, weren't they? I thought than than Arsenal. I think Arsenal sort of got away with it at two two. I know there was a point, you know, five minutes in when you know, both Premier League teams were winning, and everyone was on Twitter saying Farmers League and all of that. But then it, it all very quickly turned around, didn't it? And uh, and yeah, it, it wasn't a bad result for Arsenal because they're in it. They're they're a good team with with you know, and, and again in common with I mean, just about everyone left in it. They can hit you on the break. Teams generally don't try and play on the break anymore, do they? They all try and and play from the back and take gambles, which is why we see so many goals. Um, but they're all capable. They've all got so much pace in their team, but they don't really sort of play that low block counter attack. And I don't think we'll see Arsenal do that. I mean, what we did maybe there's a clue in how they played against City. Um, where that was probably one of the more admirable performances in this this stuttering little run that they're on, where you, you know they had a game plan, they executed it, they got the result that they were satisfied with. Uh, so that might suggest that they could do the same against Bayern Munich, take it long. But two point four two for Bayern to win a home game when they were when they looked better than Arsenal in the first game is not bad. So I'm sort of tempted to go with 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 Bayern just to win it. Yeah, could be. Could be a very intriguing evening. I don't, I'm not sure there'll be too many goals here, but then again, Harry Kane might have his say once again against Arsenal uh, by Munich. Uh, this is their season, as Gavin says. It's all on this one uh, because Bayer Leverkusen won the Bundesliga on Sunday, and Arsenal. Well, this might be their season. You, you, you never know. You never know. Uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal is the second of uh, two games in the Champions League on Wednesday. Follow them all the way, maybe to penalties in with Sportsbet.io.
covering every game of the English Premier League, Champions League and Europa League live as they happen. For the best live bets, this is Clubhouse TV with sportsbet.io. Please gamble responsibly. Yes, hello, good evening. It is Champions League time again. It's been an absolutely bonkers few weeks in the Champions League and we are hoping that continues tonight. Hopefully lots of goals Hopefully a little bit of chaos as well as Manchester City and Arsenal both look to book their place in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Trying to stop them are Real Madrid and Bayern Munich, no less. Uh, my name is Jack. Good evening. Hello. This is Clubhouse TV and the man alongside me is Dave mm-hmm. Tindall. Dave. Hello. 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 Were you um, in situ for the previous legs of these or did you, did yes. you catch them? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was working uh, for this, for these. Excellent. Last Tuesday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just over a week ago. Yeah. Fascinating, aren't they? Fascinating mm. times. I mean, it is a fascinating set of quarterfinals, this. I it think. is. Yeah. Already yeah. you've had two results last night go the other way from mm. probably where the betting said they would. I heard so many people say, oh, yeah, Atleti and uh, Barcelona to qualify. And that yeah. was very much not the case. Mm. Um, obviously, if you're going to get through as Man City or Arsenal, you've knocked a big dog out as well. So you would quite fancy yourself, I think, against Dortmund or PSG in the next round, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think PSG. It's just with Mbappe, isn't it? You mm. never know what he's such. Like big sort of, occasions, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, such mm. the wild card, the Joker that could just change all that. Um, I've, I don't, I've got a, f- a personal feeling that the final will be tw- will be between Man City and PSG. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So just got that feeling. Did you have that feeling before last night? I did have a, in the first leg when Barca won, mm. were in control from the away leg. I did think, I said on that, it's funny when you, if you win the first leg as an away team, this is, this yeah. is, my, hope, this is my hope for Liverpool tomorrow. Right, okay, night. yeah. If, yeah. You, if you win the away leg as the, and, and then you and you win that, mm. you kind of don't know whether to stick or twist. You don't, what should mm. we do here then? Try and just play out, go for the win. And you think that Atlanta maybe could get a bit muddled? They could get a bit muddled. Yeah. I think it's very clear for the away team what to do. Mm. Just go out and win. They yeah. don't have to sort of hedge the bets. Mm. Um, so, in that case, then Dave, mm-hmm. how do you approach a draw in the first? Yeah, a, a draw is kind of. I mean, I'm obviously buying Arsenal. I'm. I recall Liverpool's. Um, I think it was the quarter final. Might have been the last sixteen with Bayern. Mm. Um, probably peak Liverpool um, three or four years ago. And the first leg at Anfield was nil nil, and you mm-hmm. thought, oh, Bayern. And then Liverpool went to Bayern with a very yeah. clear, and and they won three one, and they mm. very, played really, really, yeah. really. Do you remember that game? Do you remember that? Sadio game. Mane had that lovely yeah. twist, didn't they? One of the great yeah. goals that was. Um, then he got another one. Van Dijk got a header. Yeah. And yeah, so I just get, I remember that because yeah, nobody gave Liverpool a chance, did they? Yeah, so yeah. Bayern have sort of done a job on them in the first leg. If I said Allianz, no chance. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> But um, I don't know. But that's that's Liverpool in Europe. Liverpool in Europe are a different thing to Arsenal in Europe because Liverpool have got that sort of weight of history where they mm. they know how to turn things around. Arsenal yeah. sort of don't really. No, and they're quite a young side on the mm. whole as well. And they buy in a two point six six tonight, three point four five for the draw. And Arsenal are narrowly the very narrowly very the nice. favourites yeah. Uh, by yeah by that much a squeak two point six four the price on the Gunners. I've seen a few people suggest that Arsenal looked tired at the weekend. Um, obviously, it's been a very long week for Arsenal, but I am a little bit worried about just kind of dismissing this as a oh, one team are tired, therefore they're going to lose. Because we all said last week, oh, Bayern are in a bit of state of flux yeah. and Arsenal playing really well. And it was Bayern who got the better result, didn't they? Yeah. So is this kind of the reverse? Are we all, are we sort of in danger? I mean, not specifically me and you, but is the media in danger of going, yeah, Arsenal, they're a spent force after what we saw at the weekend and here they come roaring back. Yeah, uh, my take on it isn't really tiredness or mm. or that result. It's more just Bayern kind of know what to do more. Right, okay, yeah. I think yeah. that counts for quite a lot. Mm. They've sort of been there and done it. Arsenal, I don't know, Arsenal... They struggled in the previous round, didn't they? When everyone mm. just thought they'd breeze through that. Yeah. And everyone probably thought, yeah, the first leg, they'd take a good lead. I don't know. It went I, a bit it went a bit wrong, didn't I, it? I wouldn't have, I know it's very, very close, but I wouldn't have them favourites in mm. the betting over by and I'd, no. I'd make it close, but yeah. I wouldn't I'd flip that around a bit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'll still go Raya White, Saliba, um, 
Gabriel, Tomiyasu, Rice, Jorginho, Odegaard. There was an injury doubt about Odegaard, but he does start. Saka, Martinelli and Havertz. On the bench, Ramsdale, uh, we've got Heinz, Inchenko, uh, Kivior, Party, Alneni, Vieira, Smithrow, Nelson, Trossard, Jesus and Unketia. Mm. Bayern, they go Neuer, De Ligt, Kimmich, Goretzka, Kane, Sane, Dyer, Guerrero, Lima, Masrui, and Musiala. So would you be edging towards Bayern, particularly as they are the bigger price? 2.66 here? Or would you just be going for goals? It wouldn't surprise me if this goes beyond mm. 90. Because mm. over one and a half Bayern goals is 2.25. Which is obviously a bit shorter than Bayern to win, but like you say, if this is going to extra time, I actually would prefer just to have a couple of Bayern goals as opposed to saying, yeah, Bayern are going to win this yeah. in 90. It's like if the outright markets were all that existed, was mm. all you could ever bet on, yeah. I'd probably make a decision, but they're not, are they? Absolutely um, not. So I, I quite like what you've just said there. Mm. Loads of different markets for sportsbet.io, mm. including that over one and a half Bayern goals at 2.25. Yeah, I do like that. Mm. Uh, lots of other ways as well. You can have a look at Bayern Munich to win and both teams to score at fives. Uh, Bayern Munich to score in both halves, 3.8. You can have a look at, uh, obviously, the different minute results. You can have a look at first half over one and a half goals, 2.74. You fancy this one to get off to a bit of a flyer. You can have a look at the corners. Even you can back offsides and bookings as well tonight. Loads of different ways in if you do fancy. In fact, actually... This is interesting. Bayern Munich win or draw and over two and a half goals in the game, 2.95. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, could be uh, could be tempted by that. So The, the only for slight frustration at the moment, this will probably change, there's no any time score of prices that I can see. I know, I was thinking Harry Kane, wondering what price he would be. What's your guess? Got a good record against Arsenal. What's my guess at the price of Harry Kane? I think he's going to be short, isn't he? Um, about 2.2? No, I'll go lower than that. I reckon they'll put him in at 1.7. 1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. We'll see. Well, I, might, I don't yeah. know this. I've not, I'm no. not, I'm not seen some bit of paper. He might pop up um, to score the first goal as well, which is something mm. we could we could possibly look at. So uh, yeah, so Arsenal against Bayern. Um, I mentioned fancying themselves against PSG or Dortmund. Obviously, PSG and Dortmund play each other in the next round. If Arsenal get through. Uh, they could be facing Manchester City again. Yes, they it, could. They were 1.59 to win this, so very, very clear favourites. 4.5 for the draw, and Real Madrid a 5.2. Yeah. Um, I mean, that price is skinny, isn't it? And with Real Madrid, you can never say never. No, I'll give it to teams quickly. Um, Edison Walker, Diaz, Akanji, Gradiol, Rodri, Foden, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, Grealish and Haaland. Mm-hmm. Um, Real Madrid go with Lumen, Carvajal, Rüdiger, Nacho, Mendy, Valverde, Camavinga, Cruz, Rodrigo, Jude Bellingham, and Vinicius Junior. Saw someone the other day suggesting that Erling Haaland doesn't score enough goals against the bigger sides, mm-hmm. um, which I don't think is an unfounded accusation. But he's, he's, it's a very it's very different to what we just talked about with Mbappe. Mbappe turns up for the big moments. Yes. Whereas he might not necessarily score against Strasbourg or North yeah. in the league. But Haaland does seem to be a man who will score against Palace, Everton, you know, those sort of teams. But then maybe in these games might go missing for a bit. Do you, do you buy into that? I do, yeah. It's, mm. just, it, it's, sort of, it's, not like a, it's not like a theory. It's just it's there. Yeah, the evidence yeah. is there, yeah. isn't it? It's not like yeah. I suppose, um, yeah. you're guessing. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I, I don't know that they will. I wonder what Rudiger's role will be tonight will it be to give Kevin De Bruyne a kick mm. like he did in the final against Chelsea and took him out yeah, yeah. or will he be asked to sort of rough up Haaland a little I know mm. Haaland's about eight foot tall but harder, much harder to rough up yeah, yeah. but Rudiger yeah. he's a you know he's, he's a giant as well isn't he he's yeah. a big fellow he knows what to do yeah. You know? so yeah I mean I, I I can't sort of get past in my head what happened last time mm. in this fixture when City just played off the planet didn't they yeah yeah um I don't know. I think you got to think more goals again, haven't you? Mm. You got to think goals. You know, a, a, Generally, a plus, what we're yeah, plus two and a half over two and a half goals double. Mm. I think has plenty going for it. Price that up for you. Over three and a half goals, by the way, is two point two. If you do so that's fancy pretty, yeah, that, yeah. So, yeah. so two point five will be fairly low. So we've got one point five for mm. over two and a half goals in the City game, and much bigger actually, uh, one point eight for over two and a half goals in the Bayern Arsenal game. The double brings you to two point seven. Happy with that? 
I mean, obviously, you want bigger, but ha- happy enough with that. It's all right. Mm. I'm Could- not as thrilled as I was when I came up with the concept. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw your face drop. <laughs> Could we go over two and a half then in the Bayern Arsenal game and maybe over three and a half in the City Real Madrid game? That would bring it to 3.96, or is that getting a bit too risky? No, now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, 3.96. <laughs> yeah, That's a Dave that. Tyndall price, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, and we expect City to win, to go through, or do you think do we think Real yeah, Madrid spoil the party? No, uh, I'd, I'd go with City, um, but I think if you are back in City, I'd, I'd back City to win, but conceding a goal. Mm. So City to win, both teams to score. City to score in both halves is 2.14. City to win and both teams to score. Just trying to find that for you. It's normally clean sheet and no kind of thing. Yeah, it is. Uh, Oh, here we are. City to win and both teams to score. 2.88. Yeah. Yeah. It's in one times two and both teams to score. That's how it's listed on the Sportsbet.io market if you are looking for it. Hello to everyone in the chat as well. Uh, Hello to uh, Flocky and to... uh, We've got Viv in there as well, and Navidart. Hello to hello, you. Everybody. Hello to uh, Dark Devil as well. Uh, we've got Dan, who says, hello, guys. Hi, Dan. Hello, uh, Genetics. And Viv says, over 6.5 total saves is 1.86 in the City game. Let's go. That's what okay. Viv says. In the same way, um, if, you, if you think Real Madrid will um, cause an upset and win there, mm. I think you'd have to be back in Real Madrid conceding on the way right okay so rather than Real Madrid it's still a, I mean the Real Madrid to win is a fair price at 5.2 but Real Madrid um, and both teams to score yes is 8 yeah so I think if That's they do go through it, it would be 2-1 or 3-2 something like that yeah I don't think they're going to just go there and win 1 or 2-0 or anything no City are so short to qualify by the way 1.3 yeah. to get through uh, whereas Arsenal they are the favourites in the qualifying market uh, 1.92 in fact no it's just jumped back to um to be in at the same it's price. Like so the double on the two Premier League sides to qualify, 2.5 for both Premier League sides to qualify. Obviously, that includes extra time and penalties if required. Uh, we will be on air for extra time and penalties as well if they are needed tonight. I would say most likely in the Arsenal game. Um, oh, I'm not so uh, sure. I don't know. Have, have you read anything about the coefficient of late? Because... Um, I've read yeah, I've read a couple of things. I must admit, sometimes it fries my brain a little bit. Yeah, because mm. I, I know there'll be a lot of um, Spurs fans or Chelsea, even Man United, uh, Villa fans who might find it hilarious if both English teams go mm. out. But it's not not in good, your not favour. Good, no, not good for the coefficient. If you no. want that fifth place, um, yeah. is it between us and Germany? Yeah, or is it, it's not Italy, is it? I think Italy have done. I think yeah, because Milan be a, yeah. Inter are out, aren't they? So yeah. Dortmund yeah. going through was good for Germany last night. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we've got Bayer Leverkusen. Liverpool going out, that's not funny for... No, because yeah, cause Stuttgart tweeted something the other week about, because they're obviously third, aren't they? Um, sorry, second in the bundle, second, third. Uh, they're, they're the places they're competing yeah. for. Um, about the coefficient, yeah. And I saw, I saw, saw someone mention that even if their form drops off now, which I don't think mm. it will... They they probably still will get in. So yeah, I think it is us in Germany. Yeah, so we did. Yeah, we don't. If, if both if, go out, it's probably, it's yeah, pretty, it's, could be pretty bad news for the mm. fifth place. Yeah, I team. think it might be. Uh, hello to MT. Hello to uh, Simu as well. Uh, good evening to you all. Thanks for joining us here on Clubhouse TV. We are here for all of the Champions League. Of course, we'll be here for the semi-finals in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, we'll be here for the final as well. Uh, there's Europa League tomorrow. Dave's already alluded to Liverpool and what they've got to do. <laughs> a lot. A That's lot. A heck of a lot. But uh, we will be on air. Uh, are you here tomorrow? Or you? you no, no. I'll be watching You'll at be home. Sh- through maybe through your fingers yeah Yeah. Uh, and then of course Premier League action at the weekend as well to look forward to but it is 8 o'clock it is 8 o'clock here in the UK so that is kickoff time for both of these games neither underway yet but we are seconds away from what could be a huge night in the Champions League for the English clubs, clubs and generally just a great night of goals we hope we've had so many of them already this famous last words Dave will surely not (laughs) last down (laughs) Uh, hello to uh, Jeremy Power as well. Says, how's it going? Yeah, we're, we're good. Thank you. Yeah, um, Dave did want some chocolate earlier, but apart from that, um, we're, we're good. Yeah. Uh, I nearly bought some. Um, I was on the cusp of bringing some, but uh, sadly left it home. Hello to Lubo. Hello to uh, Marios and O as well. Good to have you all along as well. Big night of action. And we will be giving away some free bets as well 
we have settled on the old spot bets for this evening. So listen out and we'll have five chances for you to win uh, some spot bets. We'll be giving away two spot bets per um, per session, I guess. Uh, we'll just we'll, we'll come up with them as we go along. It might be goals, might be cards, might be corners, might be subs, uh, anything, absolutely anything. We'll, we'll come up with them. We'll do the first one, what should we say, in the first sort of 15 minutes? Um, well, why don't we just... Why don't we just say it now? Okay, yeah. Get I'm it just, get it out there, Dave. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna say as soon as there's a goal okay. from any of these matches, mm-hmm. that's the first one. There we are. There shall be two winners. Yeah, we'll have the uh, random number number generator. If I remember rightly, Dave, your eyes light up when you do the random number it's generator. One of my yeah. great pleasures in life. Yeah, so along, I, along with eating chocolate. Well, I shall not deny you that yeah. pleasure. <laughs> I'm, I'm already nil for one yeah, so far. Yeah, I've already I've already prevented you from having chocolate essentially, so I will not take the number generator away from you Thank either. You. Uh, otherwise, there'll be, I'm sure there'll be a request going in never to work with me again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, dear Gav. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that. And as soon as a goal goes in in either of these games, could be after three minutes. We may have to wait 30 odd minutes, but I'm pretty confident we will get a goal uh, sooner rather than later. Um, it's a bit flary between Bayern and Arsenal, isn't it? A little bit, a bit cloudy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I've brought the, uh, the smoke. Mm. We can just about see what's going on on the pitch. Uh, yeah, let us know if you had any bets as well. Let us know. Uh, obviously, Viv's already let us know uh, his his bet with the uh, the go. saves. But any other suggestions? Any hackers you've got waiting? Maybe you had an hacker across the two nights and you're waiting on something to happen tonight. Uh, share that with us if you fancy. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Later on as well, we'll get Dave's uh, mm-hmm. opinion on um, some of those Europa League games. We, we ne- won't necessarily get you to cover the Liverpool one, but some of the other tasty ones, we'll just ask uh, <laughs> some brief thoughts on that. But again, if you also on the chat are fancying anything tomorrow night uh, it'd be good to have your thoughts uh, this is clubhouse tv sportsbet.io good evening if you're watching on youtube uh, or you're watching through sportsbet.io you can come and join us on telegram just search for clubhouse tv live, live stream chat we're on there and uh, you could potentially get involved you can potentially win yourself some free bets as well and uh, just have a good old chin wag with uh, everyone else on there as well because there's lots of uh, Lots of sports fans, like-minded bettors as well. You, you, you want to discuss any of your bets or anything that's going on in the world of sport, uh, you can do that on the uh, live stream chat over on Telegram if you fancy that. So uh, we do have any time goal scorer prizes hey. uh, for, for the buying game. I'm, I'm not sure the City one yet. Oh, do I win a prize? Harry Kane, any time scorer, 1.7. <laughs> you do. Yeah, you do win a prize. <laughs> that is deadly accurate from you. Yeah, he's exactly 1.7, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, clearly that's going to be the shortest one. Some other ones. You win a goldfish, that's what you win in her back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leroy Sane on the ball now, just cutting into the box, is a 3.25. That seems quite palatable. Mm. Um, who else could we... Kai Havertz. Poor chance, though. Yeah. Kai Havertz, yeah. 2.95. Um, Odegaard, 3.15. Who's likely to be on penalty duties for Arsenal? Saka, probably. Saka, he's, yeah. He's 2.5. Mm-hmm. Uh, Martinelli 3.15 um, S- Musiala, yeah. M- Musiala 4.15 We talked about Harry Kane and his good record against the um, against Arsenal yes. What about another former Spurs man Eric Dyer 11s Eric Dyer 11s yeah could nod one in mm. uh, Other defenders you might fancy uh, I saw Delict on there where has he gone uh, Delict 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 uh, 9.5 if you fancy Delict, okay. uh, from maybe from a set piece. And uh, I've now gone into the Manchester City anytime scorers. Erling Haaland, a very, very if you think uh, he does struggle in big games, you will not want to back him at 1.4. You will be nope. looking elsewhere for your bet. Mm. So options uh, would include Kevin De Bruyne, 2.8. Um, you've got Rodri, who obviously got the winner in the final last season, 4.35. Got He's Phil a bit of a big goal, a big game scorer, isn't he? Yeah, mm. I, I, uh, that was one of my probably best bets last uh, year. Mm. I, I, I backed Rodri uh, to score the first goal in a City win in the final. Oh, about twenty-seven yeah. to one. Marvelous. Yeah. yeah. Um, who else? Phil Foden, two point two five. Jack Grealish, three point two five. Bernardo Silva, three point eight for. Real Madrid, you've got Vinicius Junior, 2.7. Jude Bellingham, also 2.7. Rodrigo, 3.2. Valverde, 6.4. He wasn't particularly great, was he, Jack Grealish, in the the game last week? No. Particularly not one of his his more vintage performances. 
Um, if you're unhappy with 1.7, by the way, on Harry Kane to score any time, you can explore the player to score the next goal, which mm. obviously would be the first. Uh, Harry Kane is 4.7 in yeah. that market. So that might be a that might be a more palatable option if you don't fancy the 1.7. He's 4.7, mm. a much bigger hike on that for him to score uh, the next goal. In a similar vein, Erling Haaland is 3.8. Right, to, okay. Uh, to do the equivalent to score the opener in the City game. And he's just had a shot there as well, Harry Kane. He's, uh, it was a turn and okay. swivel shot. Um, and Bayern have started the brighter of the two sides, haven't they, yes. here? So if you are looking at player to score the next goal markets, you might want to focus on those Bayern players. We talked about Arsenal being tired. We don't know if we necessarily buy into that theory, but they are probably going to have to do some defending, certainly for the first 10, 15 minutes, because the home side are immediately on the front foot. Have Arsenal had a kind of big away game? In recent memory, in Europe, like in a proper, like a, like a, like this, yeah, like a real ding dong. Um, let's have a look, shall we? I can't. I'm not who was in spring the, to mind? Who was in their group? Amazing how how much you forget. Yeah, yeah. Uh, PSV were in their group. So that's Lance not, were in their group. So that's no good. No, it, it must was, have been one good team. Who was the other member? Um, mm, mm, Sevilla. So not really. No, because no. the Sevilla were horribly out of form at the yeah. time as well, weren't they? Yeah, and then you'd say that you'd say the last time certain just in the champion. I know they've been in the Europa League. The last time that uh, Arsenal had a big game, a big big away game in the Champions League was here. It was that five one defeat to Bayern in twenty seventeen, right? Where they were behind after eleven minutes to an Arjen Robben goal. Alexis Sanchez pulled one back, and then uh, we had a couple of goals from Alcantara and a Robert Lewandowski goal. Uh, pretty much sealed it. So that was probably that. Since then, they played Lons, Sevilla, PSV, and Porto away, and none of those are what you would call no giants of Europe. So they've not had a kind of absolute huge no away game, and yeah, maybe that's why I kind of favour Bayern. I mean, Bayern have had tons of these sort of games, and they haven't had one under Arteta. That's for sure. Yeah. So we'll yeah. see. I mean, it's not you know you could say well we've got no evidence they might be brilliant mm. at it, but. It's a, it's a slight sort of concern, isn't it? They're just not yeah. used to this. Here comes City, by the way, down the left-hand side. Possession is briefly taken off them, but they've won it back. Cross is blocked. Is it as simple as saying City will now just win everything and Arsenal and Liverpool will win nothing? It feels it's, too it's, basic for me, that. It, it feels... Mm. Yeah, it feels like it might be the case, but yeah, I can't help thinking there'll be a twist somewhere. Yeah. Because we wouldn't have expected the twist this weekend. You would have said ahead of this weekend, oh, yeah, City will beat Luton. Fine, that happened. Said, oh, yeah, Liverpool will beat Palace. Yeah. Oh, Arsenal should at least take a point, probably all three against Villa. And none of that happened. So I do think there's a real danger of saying, right, that's done. Because sometimes you hear people say, you hear people say in February, don't you? Oh, that's their season done. Yeah. That's them down. That's them That's them relegated. Or any, And then, it, I mean, in some cases... Sheffield United, it, it it does happen. But sometimes people are very quick to write off and it's sometimes mm. their own fans because you can get very easily wrapped up in negativity, yeah. when, especially after off the back of a really bad result. Well, Arsenal had that bad run sort of in Chris, around Christmas, yeah. didn't they? When lost they to West Ham. Yeah, mm. and then we knocked them out of the FA Cup. It's like, well, yeah. and that was like, oh, well, that's their season done. Mm. Yeah, they'll find new ways to surprise you. <laughs> Arsenal and Liverpool, aren't they? And, and indeed, you know, City as mm. well. Although City are the more predictable of the three and have been over the last few seasons. Uh, hello to Black Dog. Hello, hello, Slissy as well. Good evening. And uh, Navidad's gone for a draw in the City Madrid game. Uh, Slissy says, come on, City. Uh, Imario says, what odds on Grealish for a yellow? Um, let's see if we've got that market for you, Imario. Uh, we've got total bookings. Uh, over four and a half, one point six two. I can't see if we've got player to be carded markets. Don't normally, do we? No, unless, unless they raise the game for these big ones. But it would be nice. I agree, Marius. He would mm. be one of the players that I would be. Um, I'd be able what to do you think, Marius? He he throws himself to the floor, hot head, and gets booked by a, a, an eagle-eyed ref who's saying, "I'm not having any of that." Yeah, would it be a dive? Do we think? Yeah, but he's not really. He's the one who gets fouled, and he's not really mm. a fouler. No. No. Or if City found themselves behind, would it be just like a frustrated 
hack maybe of oh, I'm sure they've all gone to um, Pep's tactical school mm. of fouling for yeah, a couple yeah. of lessons when they first joined yeah oh, definitely yeah also that little desks yeah, yeah. watching a powerpoint yeah yeah. and then watching, watching Pep mm. and perhaps Scott Carson demonstrate it <laughs> yeah I think so <laughs> he's got to have some use hasn't he yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so good Scott <laughs> yeah here, for this here shot. come Real Madrid ooh it's well held. It was Camavinga. Camavinga. Yeah. yeah. It was... Left foot strike. One of those that probably lacked a little bit of pace, but it tests the goalkeeper, doesn't it? Make sure the goalkeeper's alert. It's a fall on it. Yeah. yeah. Is it Ortega? So I've... Oh, is it... We did read the teams out. I wasn't paying much attention. Yeah, you... you no, even, Edison, yeah. You Edison. even read them out. You even yeah. read the Man City one out, yeah. I don't know. He just looked Ortega-ish yeah. when he fell down to the ball. Uh, maybe mm. they all fall in the same way. Maybe. Uh, here come Arsenal, by the way. Saka's crosses towards the back post. Nobody there. But, um, yeah, Arsenal's starting to get a grip yeah. of this one, Dave. I think the first maybe three or four minutes they were under yeah. the cosh, but now they've found a bit of football. Hello, Chi. Hello, hello to Alexi as well and uh, Daira as well. Hello, everyone. Tin Tiger as well says uh, City and Bayern. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Tin Tiger. Hello, everyone as well. Thanks for contributing on the uh, Telegram chat. You can do too. Just uh, search for live stream chat, Clubhouse TV. If you do fancy joining in, and there will be a chance to win a free bet. The first of those free bets, just to remind you, will be given out when we get a goal in either of these two matches. So as soon as the goal goes in, we will tell you about it we'll celebrate it and then we will get down to the business of giving away some free bets there will be two free bets of 10 usdt to give away um as soon as a goal goes in and remember you need to have a, a sportsbet.io account an active account at that as well i think you need to place to bet within 48 hours if you have all that if you meet that criteria you will be eligible for a, a free bet of 10 usdt which uh, might prove handy for the uh, europa league games and certainly with all the action coming up at the weekend as well let's give you some Oh, hello, hello, Real Madrid. Ah. Goal. Ah, we've got one. And it has gone to Real Madrid. Our, our stream has just frozen at the wrong moment, but they were working their way down the right-hand side. I think the first shot, Yeah. I think it's Rodrigo, hits the post and then the ball comes straight back to him and he puts in the rebound. It is Rodrigo who has been given the goal, yeah. Rodrigo. We're going to try and get a replay of that and we will just get that confirmed. Um, it's not being VAR checked or anything like that before we do give away that oh, free there bet. you go there's a cat amongst the pigeons yeah so Real Madrid uh, I don't know if I would have had them to score the first goal tonight actually if you if you, no. if you pressed me Dave and asked me for which side of the four got the first goal I don't think I would have had Real Madrid if I pressed you with as much vigour as I did of have you any got, got any chocolates mm. then there yeah, so yeah. that obviously lands the free bet it does indeed yeah uh, so assuming that goal Stands, which we are too. Uh, it lands one of these. Well, well, well. Well, so City, obviously, the home side, but it's now 4-3 on aggregate. And Real Madrid have something to cling on to. However, what I would say is that some teams would cling on to that for dear life. Real Madrid don't feel like a clinger, do they? <laughs> they don't feel like clingers. No. No. Uh, Madrid lead, and we are going to give away a free bet. So when Jen says go, go, go in the chat, look out for that. Make sure you uh, just send in your uh, sportsbet.io username. Uh, that's all you need when Jen says go, go, go on there. Uh, and that will be coming up soon. Send your username in, and what we'll do from the list, we shall pick a random number, and whoever owns that number will get themselves a free bet of 10 USDT. Nice and simple. That, that uh, Rodrigo goes has caused such shockwaves that our feed has decided. <laughs> yeah, can't no, handle the fact. Can't, can't handle Real Madrid yeah. being in front. Uh, in the other game, by the way, uh, nothing yet goals wise, but we've seen a couple of half decent chances mm. uh, at either end, and it is Bayern who have a free kick. It's uh, just shy of the halfway, and Harry Kane was bundled over. What I was, oh. what I was about to say quickly in the Arsenal game is surprising. It's come down a little bit, but Arsenal have a sixty six percent possession. They wow, seventy one okay. a minute. It doesn't ago. feel like it watching it. No, um, two City corner by the two, way. Two shots to one in favour of Bayern, but yeah, Arsenal have had m more of the ball. Yeah, I wouldn't have. No, I wouldn't have. Gone. I would have said about fifty-fifty of them. I mean, it's, it's difficult to sort of 
watched both games mm. very, very closely. But yeah, the, the impression yeah. was it was kind of back yeah. and forth. Yeah, difficult to ascertain mm. that, isn't it? I guess watching both. Here comes the City corner, tipped over the bar. That's going to be a second corner of the uh, game for City. Does this find themselves behind. Kevin De Bruyne has taken this really quickly, by the way. He wants to get on with it. Whipped in. And uh, it's still on the edge of the area. Danger not clear yet. Clipped to the left-hand side. Real Madrid will come away with it eventually. City players are swarming around those... Uh, are they black shirts or navy blue? They're probably black, aren't they, I think? Black shirts. And yeah. then there's a foul. Yeah, definitely black. And then a foul drawn just in front of the technical areas. City now 2.4. Real Madrid 2.9 to the draw 3.45. Mm. Where do we go from here? We'll, we'll sort out the free bet shortly, by the mm. way. But, um, yeah, where, where do we go with those prices? Yeah, well, I just think that it, it's the kind of... It, there's just going to be more goals. I think. Mm. Six in the first leg. Although it's a bit odd. As, as this, the guy said in the preview, the XG was quite low, wasn't mm. it? For, in the it was, leg. yeah. Uh, here's a buying corner as well, by the way. Just see yeah. it in the other game. Kimmich is going to take that. I know what you mean, yeah. When you looked at the shot count and the XG, mm. you would have expected a one-all or something like that, wouldn't you? See, if this was a sort of Premier League game at home to, I don't know, Fulham, mm. you think, oh, yeah, City will just turn this around and you may as well back them now. Yeah. Now you've got a bigger price. Is 2.4 enough against Real Madrid who just sort of know? Old chance City oh, nodded over the top. Haaland, yeah. Yeah, cross was swung in. It was Real Madrid who gave it away. Haaland jumped and uh, couldn't direct it on target. Do you, do you just click your fingers and turn it around against Real Madrid mm. as easily? I know, that's the question. I mean, they did. They, I mean, Real Madrid have got some good away results in England. They absolutely hammered Liverpool, didn't they? 5 mm. 2, I think. Yeah. They beat Chelsea, remember that one? What? And then Chelsea yeah. nearly got them in the away leg. Yeah. Was that, how long ago was that? Was, was a that season? Yeah, three. Seasons? three. Was that the one Chelsea got to the final? They got to the final in, tw in the, the COVID year, didn't they? I'm thinking the one where... Maybe it was the year before, maybe. Yeah. 2019, maybe. Where Benzema yeah. might have scored a couple. I think it might be... Away. Yeah, I think it was before that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Real Madrid have gone to English grounds and done quite mm. well. I'm sure someone will correct us if that... Yeah. And tell us when that is. Right, it's time to play... It is, yeah. Thank you, Jen, for counting those up. 24 is the number of entries. Dave is going to uh, very shortly... Get a little, a little sort of frisson of excitement from yeah. uh, the uh, random number generator. Oh. Is it? Is it underway? Yeah, it's underway. And I had to double check that I'd pressed it correctly, and I had. And um, we shall give one, one of you first of all. And the, win, the first winner tonight is we've got a Jack, we've got a Jen. The winner is Genetics. Genetics. You are the first winner of the night. Well done to Genetics. You win yourself a free bet of 10 USDT. Right, let's award someone else with a free bet as well. And the second one is O. Oh, you are also adding your name to the list. So two free bets given away. If you didn't win this time, don't worry. Plenty more chances. We can do spot bets throughout the the show throughout the game so uh, we'll just pop up we'll give you uh, a criteria and when that happens hopefully when rather than if we will give away two free bets just like we have done uh, momentarily to genetics and oh so well done to both of you uh, don't forget about rapid bets as well by the way um a city get down the right hand side then forcing another save another save from the real madrid keeper oh this i think harlan's header has looped onto the post mm. Bernardo Silva's going to volley it in the rebound and he puts it wide as far as I can. Let's well, Pep's, check he Pep's this. head's in his hands yeah, so here. De Bruyne, a little, little cross. Yeah. Keeper blocks that one. Yeah. And then it's recycled. Haaland header hits the bar, drops oh, down yeah. to Bernardo Silva. Mm -hmm. Seeing this replay. It's good header. The keeper's It's a good footed. header, yeah. Nothing he can do. It just, but it smacks against the crossbar. Drops down. Bernardo Silva. It sort of hits his knee. Yeah, what was he aiming for there? I don't know what he's doing. He's sort yeah. of doing like an Elvis impression. With his <laughs> the wobbly legs. Uh, yeah, it yeah. didn't seem to. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. the, the classic way to miss a goal by yeah. doing an Elvis. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wearing his blue suede mm. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, yeah, that is bizarre. 
But it does lead us to suggest that City are going all out for this now because I guess they have to. Yeah. Over three and a half goals is 1.73. City are really short to score the next goal mm. of the game. But you come back over two and a half City goals at 2.63. You can also have a look at uh, another couple of first half goals over 2.5 first half goals at 2.75. Mm. Or... Have a look at the game to be level at the break. Well, yeah, I was going to say what mm, three point one five. Yeah, that's interesting. The, mm. the other one, if you think Real Madrid might, at the very least, have given themselves a shot at extra time and maybe penalties, they're two point two six to qualify. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, they could hold on for the win, or they say they've got other ways. Yeah, I mean, they, to they, do that, it's one of those without the city have got the desire, the bit between their teeth. Mm. But is that just a sort of 10-minute reaction to Real Madrid scoring as opposed to how how this game is now Could going be, to... Yeah. We've also got Man... I don't know if you said this one. Man City to score in both halves. Did you say that one? I don't know if I did, no. Yeah, no, a 2.4. Oh, okay. Yeah, I quite like that. In fact, I like that more than any of the others that I read out. <laughs> yeah. He's just saying that. Yeah, no, yeah. I, do. I do. I'm not okay. buttering you up. Uh, <laughs> I do like that, yeah. Um, there's a game in Scotland as well tonight, by the way, in the uh, Scottish Premiership. Rangers in action. They are away at Dundee. Oh, is that the one that keeps getting called off? It is, yeah. yeah. It's So far, it's on, and they've played 22 minutes. Right. It is nil-nil, but it looks like Dundee are about to score the opener. Oh, Rangers, dear. of course, dropping points to Ross County at yeah. the weekend on Sunday. It uh, looks like they might uh, fall further behind uh, with a uh, I mean it's not confirmed that goal yet but they certainly are, they certainly have come under pressure in the last few minutes so let's see I, in fact I think yeah still nil nil but just have a look at the stats on that one it is not going to be plain sailing for Rangers who have just hit a little bit of a bump in the road we need I'm going to pass this one to you for the next spot bet okay yeah as we are halfway through these first halves. We are indeed, yeah. So, um, I am going to go for the next time we see... <laughs> Let me have a think. What are we going to say? Yeah? yeah, I'm still working on it, as a, you can tell. It's a, a ghost? Yeah. I'm going to say the next time we see a goalkeeper... Make a save and push it out for a corner. <laughs> is that too? Is that too precise? Here come uh, Bayern, by the way, uh, down the left hand side, oh. right across goal. I don't know if the goalkeeper got a touch, but uh, right across goal and rolls out to the uh, right hand side. I don't think it took a touch. I don't think it will be a corner, but that is that is a good chance. They but, got through Arsenal yeah. quite easily there. Yeah, it's on side as well. I think Gabriel's playing everyone on side. Yeah, is that Guerrero that? On the, it's coming in here. Yeah. So well, it's half blocked by... Actually, I think ben it might White, be Mas- it? it might be Masruri, I think. Did Ray get a little hand on that? I don't know. Yeah, it's Masruri. Um, yeah. But I like I, him. He's very skillful. Yeah, very yeah skillful. they have got a corner out of it. Did he push that out for a corner, though? Yeah. <laughs> don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I might have to reassess my criteria. Anyway, the corner's being... The ball's being taken not from within the D. Uh, it is nodded away for now. Edge of the area. Yeah, so basically saying a keeper sort of tips one wide or over mm. the bar. T- point, keeper tips yeah. one wide or over the bar from now. Yeah, uh, That in, was a little bit dubious. In either game? In either game, yeah. Okay. Either keeper, well, so, any keeper, any of the four keepers. So keep your eyes out just in case we've... In case we miss it. ...turned to say something and then it flashes before our... Yeah, and you're eyes. also slightly ahead of us, I imagine, on some of your yeah. feeds. So do let us know if. Uh, yeah. But don't make it up. No, it has to happen. Yeah, we will. We will catch up with it and see yeah. it eventually. Uh, Real Madrid trying to slip their way in here, but City have uh, got numbers back. And shot that... from ooh, almost there. A shot. Yeah. Palmed away by Ray, but buying her up in the ante here. That is <sighs> not going to go out for a corner. That is uh, cleared yeah. away. Bit of. Concerted pressure here from Bayern. Just feel like it might go to Bayern, the court, the, the first corner that we're looking for here to be tipped out by the goalkeeper. Talking of first as well, uh, let's have a look at Bayern to score the first goal because mm. they seem to be uh, the team. Very much upping the ante, aren't they? Yeah, Bayern first goal is 2.08 mm. compared to Arsenal's 2.24. I think that's fair. I think that's at a fair yeah. price, yeah. Uh, chance for Real Madrid. Just, I mean, he's running to c- three City defenders, edge oh, of the that's, area. It's a good block. It's a good block. Fighting him from distance and over the top. That is uh, wild. But they are, after that period of pressure from City, Real Madrid are wrestling back control mm. slowly but surely now, aren't they? They are, yeah. 
Let's have a look at this. Let's see. Who is it who threw? No, two threw of them throw yeah. their legs at it. Is it Gvardiola maybe gets the block I think it is Gvardiola, yeah. That is, uh, yeah, Real Madrid breaking forward and uh, trying to get the uh, the second goal that would really, really change. Oh, wow, that'd be it would really it? change the face of this tie, wouldn't it? That the so we're saying be, before kickoff, um, mm. Arsenal were very, very, very slight favourites. It has now um, flipped over, buying not massively, but they are yeah um, the favourites now. Two point seven four to Arsenal's two point nine eight. I would have it as that, yeah, especially on the evidence that we've seen. Mm. Uh, Bayern on the right-hand side, by the way. And they are crossing a ball deep, nodded up and away, edge of the area. But uh, it is all Bayern at the moment. Arsenal struggling to get out of their own half. They are trying to do it through Saka at the moment. But you know you said about Haaland. There's, a, there's, yeah. a, there's talk as well, isn't there, that Saka doesn't quite yeah, yeah. do it enough. Mm. In these sort of games. But he is, I, I sort of feel like I could give him the benefit of the doubt of him being significantly younger, and less experienced than Haaland. Uh, is he significantly Well, like a bit younger, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. I mean, he still feels, he's 22, isn't he, Saka? Um, what's Haaland? Is Haaland 26, is he? He's not quite that old, 25. Ooh, we should make a game well, of this. Yeah, we? we should, yeah, higher or lower. That old one. Uh, he is... Oh, no, he's not. He's only 23. I think yeah. Dallas 25, 26. Yeah. I wasn't going to say 23, but I thought it was 24, 25, maybe. Yeah. Gosh, he is young. I yeah. mean, he looks... <laughs> he doesn't look that young. No. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay. Well, no, I'll take it all back. <laughs> take it all back. Not everything I've said tonight, but that said that last minute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I just... Honestly, I, I, had him, I had him pegged as mid-20s. Uh, anyway, he's uh, he's not scored, nor has Saka. Although Haaland has come very close, he has hit the woodwork, of course, so far I'm in gonna, this game. I'm going to price up the we've written them off double. Okay, yeah. Um, so, anytime scorer, Saka mm -hmm. is. Oh, is he? here we are! City effort from Kevin De Bruyne. It is palmed out, and it goes ah, for a corner. There you go. Well, there we are. That happened quicker than I thought. Yeah, well, I thought. Yeah, there was feeling that it could have been slightly a, a mm. silly one, but it's. Uh, I did feel a bit silly, saying. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you proved right. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne is strolling over to take this corner. There is a player down for Real Madrid, so I don't know how quickly we're going to take it, but it's a it's a decent palm out actually uh, from the goalkeeper. Mm. I think it's kind of it's not at him, but it's not far away from him, and uh, he had to make it. Otherwise, City would have been level. The player down, I'm trying to work out who's complaining to the ref. Oh, it's, um, what do you call him? Uh, Danny Carvalho, who's uh, the uh, the moaner, who is up now and uh, is ready to come and defend this City corner. We'll do the free bet in a second. We'll just see how this pans out. Corner comes in. Real Madrid player makes first contact. City still have it, bustling their way into the penalty area. It's gone out. It's gone back out to De Bruyne. They go to the edge of the area that is clipped uh, away, and then the goalkeeper dives. will dive on that and yeah. uh, stop it. It's Harland again, who's in the mix. Yeah. So they, so they, um, are they all that in these big games? Double. They are they all that double? Yeah. So yeah. Bukayo Saka anytime, Erling Harland anytime. The double pays exactly five. The old flat track bully double. Yeah. Mm. Five, if you want that one. It's not bad, is it? So that's three point four five on Saka, one point four five on Harland. The double is five. Given that Haaland's had quite a few chances already, I don't think that's a bad price. Am I? Uh, let me just... Uh, I'm going to remove um, Saka from that one. Okay. And add in Harry Kane. Yeah. Not saying he, he does do it in all yeah, games. Yeah, he does but, it, yeah. But just the very obvious uh, you know, stellar goal scorer from both teams. So Haaland any time and Kane any time. It's not going to be much, this... Uh, it's, oh, snapshot from Arsenal. And the goalkeeper has just about kept it mm. in. Neuer has done enough. But that was heading in from, uh, I think it was Odegaard, wasn't it, who uh, had the effort. And let's have a look at this. Edge of the area just went for it. I don't Ooh. think goalkeeper was expecting him to... Uh, to so it saves it with his have, wrong hand. Yeah, have a dig from there. And now we're seeing a, a chance at the other end, which Raya, Raya makes yeah. the save. Yeah, the, the Haaland-Kane anytime score double is 3.33. Okay, nice. Um, 
Arsenal trying to uh, get forward again. Neuer was just temporarily came out of his area. They've got a couple of players in the box. Can't find either of them, and the flag has gone up as well. It's um, it's a bit of a difference in price though. Kane to get to that three point three. Kane is two point two five now, mm. um, which is probably which yeah. was your price, wasn't it? It was, start. yeah, yeah. Maybe you knew something. Like it. Maybe, it maybe will, I, it will get to that. I was thinking twenty eight minutes yeah, in. Like, like yeah. quite a common thing. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then Harlem, one point four five. I'd much rather back Kane there. Mm. Yeah. I do I quite fancy now in this um buy in game actually. Just a goal in the first half. Over zero point five first half goals in this one is two point four four. So a goal in the first period. Uh, is 2.44. Right, look out for um, Jen saying go, go, go on the chat and we will give away a, another free bet. I mean, my, my telegram appears to have frozen, so she might already have said it. Apologies if she has. But uh, yeah, look out for that and we will do another giveaway. Two in quick succession, two more free bets coming your way very, very shortly. Uh, Dave will uh, dust off the old uh, randomizer again and we'll give away a couple of free bets very shortly. Look out for the... Uh, Go, go, go. And remember, it's your sportsbet.io username that we require in order for you to be uh, to be furnished with a free bet tonight. I'm thinking, at what point do Man City become an absolute bet? They're 2.52 at the minute. Mm. Because yeah, well, if say they equalise now, that would be a great price to be on. Yeah, that, you're not getting it? that price again tonight, are you? And Even if they fall further behind it, they come heading towards the byline. Space here on the edge of the area. They've worked it well out to the far mm. side. Real Madrid have nodded that away for now. They're kind of winding it up, aren't they? So yeah. It like, yeah. It's like they're starting to get at them a little bit. 2.52, Man City, Real Madrid 2.9, draw 3.25. And to qualify, City 1.68, Real Madrid 2.12. Mm. Tintiger says buying in slow mode today. All right, Jack Grealish is protesting for something here. As if he gets booked. Yeah. We had a, I, don't, I don't think we've had a book in it, have we? No, I don't think we have. No, we might have. We might hold that back, actually, What's as one of, our, done here, then? one of our bets. Well, it should be a, it's a corn. It? it should be a yeah. corn. Is that has he not been given one? He, oh, he, he, yeah, he has. Quite sure what he's appealing against. No, then. he's having a bit of a laugh with the ref now. Uh, yeah, I'd really like a goal in the first half in the Bayern Arsenal. I think that's a, that's a really good bet now. We're obviously, 10, 15 minutes plus a, a couple for injuries, I would imagine. Uh, but yeah, a goal in the first half of that game. Let's see what happens with the city corner. So headed away up into the air. And then chance for a break here, actually. City got a lot of players back. And they end up smothering. Yeah, they did well there. City just swarmed around the yeah, ball. Yeah, it was great issue won it back, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it back. And now yeah. they're on a break and... Driving towards the Real Madrid box again. Haaland's in the box. Grealish is on the edge of the area. Can the cross come into either or not for now? Real Madrid have mopped that one up. Does this, I mean, does it, it didn't emerge then, but does this suit Real Madrid that they they can do him on the break? Oh, effort fired in from distance from Kevin De Bruyne. He's had a couple like that now. Could you see that? Ca that's where they might get the second goal, maybe. Mm. Yeah, hitting them on the because they are. Yeah. I mean, if you've got you've, some pacey players, you've got old Vinny Junior in the side. Yeah, he's quick, isn't he? I mean, you don't need me to explain that one to you, but he, <laughs> he's quick. He's yeah, quick. That yeah. lad, that lad, he's got a bit of pace about him. And they're, if you are on the break, yeah, they're exactly the sort of players. And he can, and do you know what, Dave? He can finish as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I think we've assessed good, good. assessed all of his <laughs> good inside <laughs> skill set there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's why they pay Jack the big bucks yep yep uh, probably the reason why I'm not in that <laughs> chair over there uh, we do have loads of your entries for the free bet thank you very much uh, we'll get the draw done soon well, you'll see a stop 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 that'll put a lid on it and Dave will uh, pick out uh, well he won't pick out he will pick he will be randomising a few numbers and uh, yeah we'll get a couple of you some free bets genetics and O already in the free bet list tonight there's buying in the box. Nicely worked. Win a corner. Mm. Seems to be quite a few corners tonight in the um, particularly in this game, yeah. Man City game. Oh, they've had a few. As well, yeah, yeah, Man City have had five corners. All right. To okay. To nil. Yeah. The Bayern have had stats. Bayern have had. Is that another one? I think this is another one here now as well. well I don't know if that's in your five, but there's there's oh, one. Oh, in the Man City one. Yeah. Okay. In fact, both there's a corner in both games here now at the same time simultaneously. So it might just be three then in the Bayern one, all to Bayern. Yeah. So 
just the home team. They play, play it, it out short. short. Yeah. It's going to be curled in on, and it <laughs> fells <laughs> like a falling tree. It hit someone. Yeah, timber. Well, it's not timber, obviously. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's just in timber. Yeah. Uh, is it party? He's got. Yeah, he took one straight in the face, I think. And, uh, the city corner has bounced up and away. So no look there. Danny, is it is that, that Dutch ref, Danny Makilele, or whatever he's called? Yeah, Makili. I think it is, yeah. Well, Osaka, who's... Very uh, bri- a very vibrant green for the yeah. referee there. Yeah, Osaka was taking Saka one there. Took, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 20 entries for this one. Oh, Thank you very okay. much to everyone who got involved. We'll just see what happens here with this City attack. There's a break in the Arsenal game, so it feels like a good opportunity to uh, to do the draw. It's a number generate. Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne is right. frustrated again at the referee. He thinks that he has not committed a foul. It is a shoulder barge. I can see why he's a little bit aggrieved, but there are the breaks, Kevin. Yeah, um, so here we go. First winner of round two of mm. our free bet. Uh, extravaganza. Yeah, and it is because we're giving yeah. away two inside the first 35 minutes. Yeah, that count. That, that definitely categorises an extravaganza. Yep. So the first winner is Imarios. Imarios, well, well done. done, Imarios. You got yourself a free bet. Yep. Who's next? And the second winner is is Navidart. Navidart, you're in as well. Well done, Genetics, Navidar, and Marios. Oh, you've all won yourself a free bet of 10 USDT. If you'd like to do that as well, you need a sportsbet.io account. You need it to be active. It's placed a bet within the last 48 hours or so. And you need to be on the Telegram chat as well. City come clear, side netting from Grealish. He's already having a much better game than he did this time last yeah. week. Yeah, let's check his uh, anytime score price out because mm-hmm. he's... Uh... Getting involved, isn't he? Yeah, Bernardo Silva gets us back underway very quickly with that corner. Another corner day for your collection. Yeah, 3.85. Um, Jack Grealish anytime. Straight through to the goalkeeper, this one, though. And that will be collected. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but how many goals did we have by this time last week? So uh, Saka had scored on 12, Gnabry had scored on 18, and Harry Kane had scored on 32. So we had three in the Arsenal game by this point last week. Um, let's have a look for the uh, Real Madrid City game. I'm pretty sure we had we had we had a couple, didn't we? In that last week, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very different. We, we are still predicting goals. We're not going back on that prediction, but yeah, it's it's a very different vibe to uh, last week. Yeah, we had oh, in fact, we had three. We had two, twelve, and fourteen last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. So overs had landed pretty much in both these games by this point last last week as Arsenal's turn yeah. to mount an attack. Well, Bayern gave the ball away. Is it Arsenal? Yeah. Picked them off high and then um, tried to play ball into the box, but it was blocked. And a couple of players go down. Yeah. Oh, Danny. He's Dutch, isn't he, that, Dan- that ref? I think so. Let me double check that. Oh, there's a yellow card for Danny Carvajal. Oh, he's been he's been in the referee, referee's yeah. ear for some time now. That should be a price each week, shouldn't it? A player that's yeah. booked for bringing down Jack Grealish. It is. It is. Danny uh, Danny Makaleli. Have a guess. I'll give you a guess. What? Guess what? Danny Makaleli of the Netherlands. Guess what his middle name is? Um, Cruyff. <laughs> no, it's not. No. Is it guessable? Yeah, it's it's a lot more English than you would think. Oh, right. Uh, Frank. Uh, that's quite Dutch. Yeah, it's quite it? Dutch. I'll give you a clue. It would have been more appropriate if he had overseen the Bayern game last week, which was a two-all draw. Desmond. Desmond is his middle name, yeah. Danny Desmond McKayley is his name. Yeah. DDM. Yeah, age 41. Uh, born in uh, Curaçao, not in the Netherlands, apparently. Where's that? But he is Dutch. That's a, it's a Dutch island, isn't it? Where? Uh, is it? Is he right at the top of South America? My geography being tested now. Can't think. Where's the Dutch East, in, East Indies? What's that? Oh, yeah. Let me have a look. Curaçao is an island country. Yes, I knew that. Uh, Caribbean island, yeah. Known for its beaches, tucked into coves, and its expansive coral reefs, and its marine life. The, the capital is Willemstad, which is where Danny was born, actually. Okay. Um, and Good knowledge, this. Yeah, this, is, this could come in very handy. Uh, it is near Aruba. Aruba, And yeah. Bonaire. And it is... Yeah, it's right at the very top. So it's above Colombia. Uh, it's to the right of Panama and Costa Rica. 
So yeah, it is, it is right at the top of South America. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, there's quite a few uh, Dutch players um, whose origins maybe like Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank is, mm. is Suriname. Is it? Dutch yeah, Suriname is. Where's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, the, but Suriname is is owned by the Netherlands as well, yeah. isn't it? Uh, Suriname is. Oh, it's slightly further over. It's uh, on the other side of Guyana. So, so still it, a West the, Indies. A, still sort of it's the top area. of South America. It is South. It is categorised as South yeah. America, I think, because it is right. to the right of Venezuela. Yeah. Yeah. It's above Brazil. Right. There you go. If anyone is watching, by the way, on any of these Dutch islands, let us know. Yeah. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Um, Danny Desmond McKayley is uh, is drama in Germany. Oh, says, okay. What's our pictures have gone wonky. Mm. They have indeed. They're all greyed out at the moment. Uh, not much happening in the city, Real Madrid. Game. Real Madrid will take this 1-0 at the break, won't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely they will. A city will not. I wonder what Pep, I wonder if Pep changes anything at the break. I mean, I don't actually think it's been a bad city performance at all. But they have found themselves behind and they've only got 45 minutes to get back into this. We have lost pitches in the Arsenal game, in case you're wondering why we're not responding responding to that drama in Germany. Uh, no goals. It's not flashed up saying there's a goal or anything like that. But, yeah, we're just um, waiting to see. And I believe yeah. there's been, a, there's been a, a good save in that game. <laughs> right. Uh, I was expecting it was something for, more than that. Somewhere. Yeah, well, there's been, definitely been a good save from Neuer. Yeah. Uh, it was Kai Havertz with the effort. It was a free kick from Arsenal, I think, is where it came from, the free kick. Um, and, uh, yeah, Cav Havertz tested the goalkeeper from what I believe. But uh, come on, Arsenal, says Simu as well. Yeah, lots of people who will be on a pro-Arsenal bet. A lot of people who fancied uh, Bayern to run away with it tonight, but we've not seen a single goal. I fancied a goal in the first half. Mm. But, again, we've not seen that yet, although there still could be time, of course. We don't know. We've lost pitches. But, um, yeah, we'll hopefully get the pitches back. We do have a player injured in the uh, Real Madrid game. It is for Real Madrid. They are down on the ground at the moment. So uh, there's a stoppage in that one currently. We are heading towards half time. Just the one goal so far. Man City nil, Real Madrid one. And Bayern nil, Arsenal nil. And Dundee didn't score earlier, Dave. It was chalked off. Uh -huh, so it okay. is Dundee nil, Rangers nil, with 43 minutes having yeah. been played. Oh, so little... Uh little bit of uh, chatter between Vinicius Junior and Jack Grealish. I think Vinicius mm. Junior is saying you've just dived there. Yeah, I think he probably has, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, our streaming... Uh, yeah, that's incredible. Our streaming has now gone sort of side, diagonal. Yeah. And in grey. Yeah. I suppose like we're watching downhill. But I've got it on my... I've got it, I've got it on here now. Okay, good. Um, it is still nil-nil. And at the moment, it is Arsenal passing it out from the back. But, uh, yeah, it is nil-nil still. We probably need to... We've got five free um, sets of uh, free bets to give away. So, I shall I come up with the third one? Yeah, and that can run over half-time as yeah. well, can't it? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll try and come up with something that... Um, okay, here's one then. Oh, here's I'm, one. That didn't take you long, did it? No. Um, um, a goal for an English team. Okay. Goal for an English team. Two ways to win. Yep, indeed. A goal for an English team. In these two games. And let's just don't say like Harrogate are playing tonight somewhere. Yeah. One of these. Goal for Man City or Arsenal, basically. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so either side is Arsenal who have possession at the moment, by the way. Uh, they are uh, midway into the Bayern half. But uh, currently it is nil-nil in that one. I must admit, I've, I kind of feel that the league has gone for Liverpool, to be honest. Do you? I know you could just say because they lost that. I feel we've been creaking a bit for a few right, games. Right, OK. Um, but I think one of the few ways back in is, is if Arsenal and Man City do end up slugging it out in mm. the semi-final. Yeah. So I'm kind of hoping both go through, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see what you mean. Yeah, that could... Um Sort of that could happen, couldn't it? Be quite yeah. a big thing, wouldn't it? That you'd have to. Yeah. Here comes City down the left this time. Can't find the room to get a shot to, uh, to get across away. So they're going to have to go back, I think. Try again. Edge of the area. Players lining up, waiting for it. But Ramadan have got loads of players back here, haven't they? Kept their shape well. Cross yeah. comes in, and it's going to be another City corner. 
Danny Carvajal did well there just to flick his head back and divert it for a corner. Fresh from his booking. Yeah. He's got in between uh, Grealish and Silva there, hasn't he? Go, he's got in front of Silva, yeah. nodded away. Haaland, Haaland, it's cross had sort of evaded Haaland. He, he's, he's sort of taken a step back and it had gone uh, beyond him. But here comes the corner, another chance for City to create. Yeah. Kev De Bruyne. Yeah. Oof. Kev DB. And then he's tipped away. Is that out front of the corner? I think it is. Looks like it, yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, oh, know, yeah. Could it have dropped in at I the I think far he probably post. could have done. I think he had to do that, yeah. yeah. It's like that James Ward Prowse one from the yeah. other day. That yeah. Just dropped out of the sky, basically. De Bruyne has, we've seen a lot of De Bruyne because he's taken all the corners because they've had so many yeah he's certainly getting yeah. his 5,000 steps in isn't he, he definitely is yeah running across the other side of the pitch to yeah. whip it in yeah it's still, cleared away though still no know in the other game by the way there'll be one minute added on in that Bayern Arsenal game so not a lot We haven't, in fact we haven't had a lot of stoppages in that one uh, to be fair there have been a few, a few injuries a few minor injuries in the other, but they've been played at a good pace these games haven't they Yes. We, haven't had, we haven't had. We haven't had. It hasn't been bitty. We haven't had lots of uh, waiting around. A shot from City from Phil Foden. I'm just seeing a lot of Foden. No, no. Don't know whether I've just not somehow missed him. But yeah, You're he just hasn't. immune to him. <laughs> <laughs> but he tried the left foot curler there that was always going over. Real yeah. Madrid favourites to win now on the night. Two point six four. Mm. Man City two point seven six. Yeah. Draw three point two. It was going to turn at some point, wasn't it? I suppose with them being one up, but I just I find it very difficult to ever write Man City off, knowing yeah. what they what knowing yeah. what they can do. Uh, interestingly, by the way, Bayern and Arsenal are back to being level in the betting. They're both two point yeah, okay. nine now as we approach half time. In fact, we've just reached half time. Uh, that is nil nil. Yeah, with them, um, it's kind of one nil. You still think it's probably City, but. Mm. The big fascination if it goes 2 0 Real Madrid because then he's going, oh, right. Because mm, mm. he's still not writing City off at that stage. But, no. But 2 0 suddenly, woo. Do you think that there's going to be, there's like, there's a sweet spot in that second half just as we get back underway in that second half? If City score in the first 10 minutes of that second half, we are going to sit here and go, we've got a game here. If City don't score in that first 10 minutes, then I would make it a longer. Period. Yeah, would you? Would you go yeah. 20? <laughs> 22. 22. No, 22. Um, I don't know. It's like I suppose actually City can go bang bang quietly quite quickly. Yeah. So yeah, I see. I do see what you mean. I think it'd have to tick quite late on before I start start to wobble. Mm. I kind of want that two nil Real Madrid just to see. Well, that situation, it could take yeah. It, it could go mad. Couldn't yeah, it? so do I actually. I almost don't want City to score the next goal because yeah. I think it would be more fun to watch Real Madrid mm. score the next goal and then watch what City do. Yeah. I think I think that would be... It's half time anyway, so Real Madrid do have the uh, lead at the break. They do indeed. Uh, we are going to be back. We're going to be back for the second half with uh, obviously covering both of these but also giving away more free bets and we are looking out for either of the two English teams to score a goal. When they do... We will be giving away the third of our spot bets this evening. Uh, in the meantime, what we're going to do, we're going to get uh, some behind the bet action during the break. We are going to hear from Jonathan Woodgates. Uh, right, another question for Jonathan Woodgate. Uh, here we go. Uh, question from Hakan2217. As a former footballer and coach, what do you think would have happened to Stones, Trent Alexander Arnold, or Walker if they were playing 20 to 25 years ago? I would imagine that this is possibly reference to the fact that their wing backs who who charge certainly TAA and, and Walker yeah. and, and and John Stones who likes to bring the ball out. And by the way, what a goal from John Stones last night as well. Although the keeper could have yeah. done much better in my opinion. Uh, but where do you think these players would have fitted in 20, 25 years ago in football? All been fine. All been absolutely fine because they're all top quality players. Um, Stones can play. Maybe 20, 25 years ago, it, it wasn't always happening from the back. But John Stones can play. Alexander Arnold, okay, very attacking. Maybe in my my day that he'd have been tucked in a lot more. But Carl Walker, not a problem at all. Not a problem. He is. I really rate Walker. I think he's even improved even more since he's gone um, to Man City from Spurs. He's a he's a first class player. But they'd all fit in 20, 25 years ago without without question in my view. Uh, the interesting thing about Carl Walker, by the way, is he is an absolute athlete, isn't he? And he's thirty two now. Uh, 
20, 25 years ago. 32 is pretty much at the time when people are starting to question whether you hang your boots up and that's you've done and dusted. Yeah. Whereas now, Kai Walker and the likes of look like they could play football till they're 35, 36, 37 at the top level. Yeah, well, I think with players these days, they look after themselves a lot more. Yeah. And they've got that, um, the way of preparing for games, recovering after games, um, heart rate monitors on, testing how far they're running, what, what they're doing distance wise. A lot of them can tell how many jumps you've made, how many Excel, Excel, D cells. I mean, with, the, with them now, with the sports science side of the game, that'll help the players really go on to the next level because of, of training. Like for, for example, if we'd have played on a Saturday at Leeds, we'd have a Sunday off, we'd come in on the Monday, it'd be a hard session, really hard. We'd run again on the Tuesday afternoon, we'd have Wednesday off, run again Thursday, play Friday. I mean, play, yeah. train Friday, yeah. play Saturday. Saturday yeah. it, that would be unheard of now, unheard of. Do because you... of... On, well, but no, with, with the sports science then, if it was as, because uh, th- obviously the sports science departments at football clubs, certainly Premier League clubs, has exploded into life over the course of the last 10, 15 years with, uh, you know, um, technology, science and, and, and people studying this as well. If that was around when you broke into Leeds and, and you'd had that from the get go, uh, just wondering how that would have affected you in your injuries and whether you, you, you would have had less of with, with no question, it would have helped. It'd have helped because, just say for example, in in a game you'd cover say ten thousand ten thousand kilometers in a game, and then you'd rest on a Sunday. But normally it's forty hours forty eight hours after the game, yeah, where your body's just recovering again. So you need that extra day. Bearing in mind, on a Monday we'd be at it again, at it high intensity Tuesday again. But then to not have all the information, then that'd make a huge difference yeah. if we had it then. Uh, thank you. Another question for uh, Jonathan Woodgate. Uh, another question from Off Branded. Who, in your opinion, is the best centre back in the world right now? And I will add a further question to that, which is why. Who is the best now, Virgil Van Dyke? Ah, what do you think the, the start he's had this season? Uh, because he seems not quite the Virgil Van Dyke of last season at the moment. I think it's not always Virgil Van Dyke. I think it's the players around him as well. I don't think he's had that part. Well, he hasn't had that partner all season. It's been changed. So they've had Matt Ip in a couple of a couple of games. Um, Phillips. Um, what's it called? Uh, they've had Matt Ip and Gomez. Matt Ip, Gomez, yeah. sorry, Gomez played in centre half a few times, and he hasn't that that real structure around him. The midfield's been missing with Henderson and and, and Thiago time, so. For me, he's the best. He sees danger so easily. He's never on his backside. Very, very rarely you see him on on his backside. Reads the game so well, can pass it, can head, is quick, can score in the other box, defends his own box. I don't, I don't see a real weakness in his game. I, I, I just don't see it. Uh, who was the uh, centre-half uh, that you, if you did... Uh, when you were coming through the youth system at Leeds, and still when you were you broke into the Leeds first team, that you said, "There's someone I'm going to watch and study, and I'm going to learn a lot off." Was there a centre half that you you did that with? The viewers might. I used to watch Gary Pallister. Yeah. And Tony Mowbray as a young kid at Middlesbrough. Yeah. I used to love watching Gary Pallister, just because he used to bring the ball out of defence, and he could run past players, but he could defend also. I've got his shirt at home actually, which Have I, you? yeah, I was looking at it today. Um, yeah, a, a top move to Man United, got in the PFA. Team of the year, one player of the year, a fantastic player, and you look up to them type of players. How close were you signing for Man United, by the way? Because I know in a rather, you actually, was it a, a, a trial spell as a youngster at Man United? I certainly know, bizarrely, you ended up playing snooker with Sir Alex Ferguson once. Yeah, uh, that, I mean, yeah, so, that, yeah that, that's so. right. I was a cheeky young kid. I was a cheeky young kid, and I was on trial at Man United. I'd say for, I'd say for about eighteen months. You go on different different camps with them and stuff, and uh, every Thursday. Alex Ferguson used to used to come in and have a meal with all the players and Brian Kibbe used to have a sing song and he walked in the snook room and I was like, oh wow. He went, who wants a game of snooker? I'm not Welsh by the way. <laughs> and um, I said, yeah, I'll play. I said, no, play with him. Cheeky young kid. I said, oh, yeah, it was brilliant though. Just to see that a manager coming in the room, I was like, oh. And when your paths crossed later on, did you ever talk about that? Did he recognise you from those days or what? I, I don't. I, I don't think he recognised me from them. Days. I never signed in the end. I, I didn't sign for them in the end. They released, well, not released me, but they said we, we no longer 
want to bring you in. Um, so that, that, that was fair enough. Okay. Another question for Jonathan Woodgate. Uh, we're getting close to how well do you know Jonathan, by the way, and your chance to win a 10 USDT uh, free bet. Another question from Lord Jones. Who was the striker who challenged you the most? Who was the most difficult you faced? Well, I've got three. Um, I'd say Alan Shearer, first and foremost. He was so difficult to play against backing in, like in the box. He was just so sharp in the box to, to get his shots away. And air really was difficult to play against, a real handful of a striker. Thierry Henry, oh, his speed, his, his pace, his, his general all-round player. You faced him on uh, one of your debuts, didn't you? Middlesbrough, you debut. Middlesbrough yeah. Yeah. That was the tough. I think I got cramped after about 37 minutes. I, I, I stayed on for the all night. I don't know how I stayed on, but I stayed on. And I'd say Luis Suarez, when I was at Stoke, I played against Suarez. And one thing that I, I pride myself on as a centre-back is I never really got rolled or turned when, when the ball was coming in. Because I normally met it just before it was going to their feet. Suarez was just rolling me. I was like, oh, he was so strong. And he gets his body into some strange positions and his arms, his legs, and I, I couldn't get near him in the game. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, let's go through uh, some more of these before we uh, we move on uh, with uh, Behind the Bet, uh, sports by Dolly with Jonathan Woodgate. Uh, another question from Lola Jones. What does the game against Athletic Bilbao on September the 22nd, 2005 mean to you? <laughs> now, I am thinking... Is this the... Uh, this is the uh, famous debut, isn't it? This is the debut. So, uh, you make your debut. So, you've been at Real Madrid uh, for a year. Because uh, you've been injured, we've, we've, we've talked about that. And then you finally make your debut against Athletic Bilbao. Obviously, the night before, you're thinking, yeah, okay. When, when did you find out you were playing, first of all? The day before. The day before. The day before. So you go to bed that night thinking, I'm going to infer. I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking what the game could be like or how I could play. Yeah. You're visualizing the game. Yeah. I didn't visualize that. No. Uh, talk to me <laughs> you about it. You wouldn't, the game. would you? No. Well, again, you're one of five English players to play for Real Madrid. Yeah. This is, I'm not visualising getting sent off and scoring an own goal. Right. So the own goal. Let's talk about the own goal first of all. Right. You are stood, what, 20 yards out, 25 yards, and there's a shot. Yeah. Now, your job as a defender is to stop conceding goals. Yes, to stop the ball going yeah. in the back of that. So the shot near you. So you do the perfectly natural thing, which is try and block the shot. That's all you do, isn't it? Yep. I think as a defender, you do that. Of course you do. In my defence, so I'd been out for, say, what, a year? I didn't have no practice games. Right. So I was None at all? They none. just threw you straight in? I was straight in. So I'd trained and, and done about six weeks' work. I didn't have a practice game. I was straight in. See, that's harsh. So what I'm looking at in my defence is I was a bit like disoriented. I didn't really know if you, if you know what I mean. I should have been a bit over to the left, really. I was a bit out of position. So I'm thinking to myself, that's in my defence. Yeah. But it's, it's one of them things, isn't it? it, it it's one of them things... To be fair, with the first yellow card as well, I should have been sent off because it was a terrible tackle, mistimed. And I'm not really, wouldn't come across as a dirty player on the pitch. I was more like well-timed. But I could have been sent off for the yellow, but that, I didn't think the red, I don't think I should have got a red. Yeah, I've heard you say this. So I shouldn't have got a red. You you think you should have got a red when you got the yellow, yeah. but you don't think it was a booking when you then picked up the second yellow to get a red. Exactly right. And I think all the players agreed with me. <laughs> I could have been, I could have been, it could have been worse. And... Right. I've got a straight red. So, Real Madrid fans, especially fans of Barcelona, Real Madrid, the top sides in Spain, they are quite happy to show their displeasure. The, the white hankies, the booing, they are on your back straight away. But what happened when you got sent off on your debut? I got a standing ovation. Standing ovation. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself, to be honest. I was thinking, I'm going to get barracked here. <laughs> I think my mother and father were in the crowd behind, behind the goal, I think they were. Um, they must have started the cheese off. <laughs> but yeah, I got, I, I, could, I got a standing ovation. I think because they realised the work that I'd put in to try and get fit. Yeah. It was well documented in the local press how hard I was working. I was I was learning the language and I was making mistakes learning the language, but trying and trying to fit this 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 culture and this humongous club. What did the uh, what did the players, if you can remember, what did the players say to you? Uh, and what do you do when you're sent off? Do you go and have a shower, get changed, and wait for the team to come back in? I mean, what, what, uh, or do you sit there in your kit and just feel like you know th this is the worst thing ever? And and what were the players like with you when they came back in? Can you imagine what I was thinking when I got sent off? Oh, I, I, well, I mean, I would imagine 
I can only think of about six swear words right yeah. now that uh, cross my Cause mind. Because when you get sent off, you walk down some steps. Yeah. And in the Bernabeu, you walk up some real steep steps. Yeah. And then you go to the locker room on your right hand side. I remember just sitting there with my head in my hands thinking, oh my God, what has happened here? I remember we were getting beat as well, I think. We end up winning, winning the game. I think we end up winning the game 4-2, four, four is that right? I remember just in, being in the locker room and Ronaldo, Ronaldo coming over to me. He said, he said, listen, don't worry about that. Your, your leg's fine. And I just realised, I thought to myself, I've been out for a year now. I've just signed for this team. I'm back. And like he re- rephrased it. He said, listen, it happens to everyone. Just just move on from it. But then I remember picking up my phone and Kieran Dye going to me, that was the worst day I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I had to agree with him. I had to agree with him. It's still the worst one now. Yeah, but it's hard. I mean, you haven't played football for a year and then you throw him straight into first team action. That's yeah. incredibly harsh. Yeah, I think there was that, that clamour for me to play and to get out there. So I don't think there was time to make all these these friendlies up. So and then, yeah, straight I, in. as we said, you scored in the Champions League get at the Bernabeu against Rosenborg. Where literally, what was it, a week or two later? Yeah, something I think it was like that? two weeks later. Two weeks later. But that was probably one on, that was, a, that was an incredible yeah. feeling. 48th minute equaliser, losing one in half time, and then went on to win 4 1. You were the bedrock of that victory. So <laughs> let's counterbalance the. The assist was this, good. The, the, Every game of the English Premier League, Champions League and Europa League, live as they happen. This is Clubhouse TV. Yes, hello, welcome back. It is the second half of these two Champions League games. And maybe somewhat surprisingly, we've only had one goal. But that is likely to all change in the second half. Bayern nil, Arsenal nil at the break. And Manchester City are trailing. They are a goal down to Real Madrid. This is Clubhouse TV with Sportsbet.io. My name is Jack. That is Dave Tindall there. Hello. There he is. I should put his mic on. That will help. Hello. Let's try that again. Brilliant. Ex- perfectly executed. No one will notice. And uh, yeah, thank you for your contributions on uh, the uh, chat as well today. We are going to give away more free bets. We need either of the two English clubs to find the back of the net for the next one to cop. We've already given away four free bets. Two lots Whoa. of two. And we've got a chance. Bayern have hit the woodwork and then the follow-up shot is saved. Wow. Oof, massive moment there right at the start of the second half. That would have been... That Let's would have a look. There's a little ball played in. Um, yeah, he's on side. Yeah. Ray is beaten. That would have been an awful time to conceive. Yeah. Keep it tight, lads. Who's Who's got this header? It's not Kane. It's... Is it Muller? Could be, couldn't it? And then does Ray save the second shot with his foot? I think he does. Yeah, he's sort of gone the wrong way, hasn't he? Mm. Um, Not Muller, sorry, he's not playing. I think it's uh, I think it's Guerrero. Is it Guerrero? Who's got the? Could be. Yeah. 
Either way, they've got a corner. You mentioned the corners, by the way. We could should have a look at the corner markets, really, because they came in floods in the first they half. Did. Yeah. They did. Um, total corners, let's have a look. It's not updated on mine, actually. It's given me over 8.5 corners. I'll take that. Uh, total corners, yeah, saying over 8.5 in, uh, in the buying game at the moment. Uh, we'll try and get an update on that uh, in a second. Just refresh my prices. On the Man City-Real Madrid game, we had corners in that one as well. Uh, we've got Real Madrid total corners over 1.5. Uh, they've not had one yet, I don't think. 1.95. It's been all City, hasn't it, with the corners? Yeah. Um, the price, the bar is set quite high in that one, by the way. Over 16.5 corners in that Man City game. Uh, and that is currently 1.89. 1.89 for over 16.5 corners. We have had nine, and they've all been to Manchester City. Mm. Talk, talking to Man City, I know there's quite a lot of people like to bet when they have a, like, a target price in mind. Mm. So have you been stalling a little bit on Man City thinking, well, they've got to turn this around. Um, I need I need some sort of price for them to do that. I know the price will go up as the clock ticks on, but they're 2.90 now to win this game in 90 minutes. Mm. Very intriguing. Are that, you it? tempted when they get to three? You know, when you said earlier about what price we're waiting on, you told me they were, what, 2.45 or something yeah. like that. In my mind, I had three as kind of the next the next yes. target. So, yes, I guess in, I guess that virtually, yeah. I guess I guess three is the price that we're waiting for. Uh, rapid bets, by the way, don't forget about those. They're uh, across the top of the match pages now. So, will either team score between fifty minutes and sixty minutes in the Man City game? Is the latest of those rapid bets? Of course, you go yes or no, and you can uh, you can have a look at uh, those. It's not just goals; they're bookings, corners, uh, free kick shots, etc. Loads of different options when it comes to rapid betting. So, do check that out. Rapid betting is part of Sportsbet.io, their website. They're on the top now, but you can go to the separate rapid betting page. Uh, it is uh, down the left hand side if you want to access it. And we've just seen another save there from yeah. the Real Madrid keeper who's a f- a fierce, tested again. A fierce volley from Jack Grealish, who seems to be getting uh, into good scoring positions tonight. Caught it beautifully, but it was kind of down the keeper's throat, so he parried it away. Certainly much improved, isn't he? Mm. The um, just a quick, I've got this one sort of permanently on my betting slip. Uh, the Harland Kane goal score mm. double is now four point nine three. Oh, okay, Kane two point nine, ha- Harland one point seven. I still won't be against that. Although it's Real Madrid attacking now, shot from distance, flashed over the top. Uh, we got an injury. I think it's Tommy Yasu. I think who is uh, yeah, who's down for Arsenal. What's he doing there? Looks like he's checking his nails. Checking his nails. Contact lens checking come his out. Nails. I think his contact oh, lens has okay. come out. Yes, it has. Yeah, a contact lens injury. Mm. Yeah. Do you wear? Have you ever worn contact? I haven't. Lenses? No. I no. haven't. No, I haven't. I wouldn't have a clue. I don't know. How, I mean, I've seen so people put them f- in. It's a bit fiddly. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I've seen people struggle with them. Yeah. Mm. Now I only have to wear glasses if I'm concentrating for several hours on the screen, which you know, pop, this probably qualifies, but I clearly not. Uh, flouting the rules a little bit. Sorry, uh, sorry, spec savers. But um, yeah, I've never, I've never actually worn, worn contact lenses. But no. I, I don't really fancy them. No, I've never been close to. Have you not having a pair? Perfect vision over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I need. Gla- I well, I can see. I can see the screen over there better than I can see the screen there. Oh, okay, yeah. But I can yeah. see both. Really, yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've done some pretty good reading out of prices so far, so uh, yeah, trust <laughs> trust you trust you on that. Yeah, yeah. and numbers. You've done some good, good numbers good, tonight good as well. Numbers, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cross is uh, well held by the Real Madrid goalkeeper as City ask a few more questions. Now here come Arsenal with an attack down the right hand side. There's a couple of players waiting in the box. They've gone to the edge of the area. They're getting numbers up now. Can't get room for the shot. Switched it. And that's just petered out I think now Arsenal have kind of got a got a half under their belts and, and mm. nothing's happened oh chance oh. oh big chance for Manchester City it is cleared off the line <laughs> did he sort of beat his own keeper then and then realise I better clear it away I think he did yeah so I- running back to stop Haaland getting in but then he seemed to round Nacho seemed to round his own keeper yeah it's Nacho who's uh who has raced back and he has just got it done in the nick of yeah, time. Another city corner. Yeah, the fact that Arsenal have kind of got through that first half, mm. I think I'm slightly more in favour of them now thinking, all right, yeah, we've done that. 
we can maybe go on and win this. Mm. More so than I was at the start, I'm a bit more pro-Arsenal. A bit of a disagreement between uh, Ruben Diaz and uh, Nacho. I'm quite sure what that's about. Referees come to uh, intervene and have a word. So, you, do you, I mean, is there any possibility here that Arsenal... Well, I mean, Nick it is probably not the right term because they're they're very much in this. They're 3.15. But Arsenal to qualify at 1.8, which is the shorter of the two prices, that really now comes into play, doesn't it? Because if these even if this ends nil nil, there's a chance that this goes to penalties. And on penalties I think I'd back Arsenal. Um Hmm, I don't know. Arsenal, they had a good run, didn't they, on the penalties? Yeah. They, they, they won the FA Cup on penalties, I think they won. The I feel Cup. like under Arteta, they're going to be well drilled in that yeah. sphere. I just get the feeling. I think they won the Community Shield on penalties. Yeah. I think they lock, knocked Liverpool out of another cup on penalties. This mm. I don't know. I feel like they're going to be, well, I feel like they're um, going to be clued up on that. But then you've got to get, oh, I mean, that's that's a, a long way off now, isn't it? We, You know, we've got we've got loads of football to be played. We've got You've got to thwart Bayern's defence for another 30 odd minutes and then. An, an additional thirty as well. Is it? Is it still? Is it not a cliche that you shouldn't oppose German teams in penalty shootouts? It, well, it is. Yeah, it's a cliche, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. But is it a cliche that's hanging over you? Don't know. Obviously, who takes more? Kane would take one. Mm, yeah. Uh, our English player's going to actually take them. Um, we have, by the way, to qualify Arsenal one point eight as mentioned. Bayern a one point nine five if you think they will qualify from this tie. As for the other game, Manchester City to qualify, 1.87. Real Madrid, 1.87. So they cannot be separated C on the to qualify yeah. market. City, by the way, have gone to 3.25 now. Oh, OK. But obviously the clock has ticked around. So mm. It has indeed. What, 54 minutes. If City, get, if City get a goal, which feels likely because they're really pushing here. There's a card. Oh, yeah. Four. Is it Declan Rice? No, it might be. Oh, it's a Bayern player, yeah. isn't it? Um, if City do score, Dave, yeah. I know you've put Erling Haaland in your double. Well, who, who else are we looking at? We look at Rodri. It's uh, Conrad Lima who's uh, been booked, yeah. by the way. Oh, here's here's the 10th City corner. Right. That should... Uh, that deserves a prize, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 it's gone all the way through and then cleared headed, away. Headed up into the air. Edge, edge of the area. Real Madrid have it. They're determined to play it out, but the flag's gone up because uh, Mendy is down. I mean, basically, we're kind of going, oh, well, if so-and-so. So basically, all four teams mm. have got an absolutely great chance of going through they still. Have. Yeah, this is this and is really, it's a really exciting out. point, this, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's no one. There's no one. Well, they're they're done now. It's like any one of these mm. four, any two of these four, obviously, have got a golden chance to go through. Yeah, Real Madrid have the advantage given their one up, but it is far from done and yeah. dusted. And the Bayern Arsenal game, they are really hard to separate. Here come uh, Arsenal. Actually, Arsenal having a a bit of a, a period in which they're uh, they're getting forward more. It's Declan Rice who has gone. Uh, out wide, he's passed it back into the centre of the park. I mean, not Ma a lot of options there. No, I mean, Man the Man City game, they've had 15 goal attempts to six. Mm. Six on target to three, 11 corners to nil, 61% possession. Mm -hmm. um, although the, the expected goals is only 0 0.88, yeah. whereas Madrid is 0.99, so Madrid is sort of spot on. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, they've yeah. got one and they're predicted to have got 0.99. Yeah. Well, Bayern were trying to break there, but their attack is expertly halted just, just by gonna, Declan Rice. Just going to check the XG in the other game. The XG in the other game, um, well, exactly the same. Both teams are 0 0.47. Right, so there's not been that many clear-cut chances, have no. there? No, so the no. true score should be half-half. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really exist, does it? Not really. I guess nil-nil is as good as half-half. Yes. But to show how uh, evenly balanced that one is. Yeah, it's really nicely poised. Um, that feels to me like the one that is likely to go to extra time and penalties uh, tonight. First goal, though, if you fancy Bayern to get it, 3.0. Arsenal, 2.6. No one to get it is 2.62. Barca, um, Barca, Bayern to qualify, 2.0. Arsenal, 1.5. 
And of course, you can have a look at the uh, anytime goal scorers and the player to score the next goal market as well. You can also have a look at draw after 80 minutes. That is 1.57. At the moment there for Bayern. Ray would come out there. It was, wasn't really a back pass, but it was no. a little bit close to the goal. I mean, no, normally it's 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 ironic, really, that Man City always, always, always score at home, apart mm. from when Arsenal went there. And yeah, got, got a nil nil, mm. and they had to work really hard mm. for that. I mean, I I said before, don't back Real Madrid at five point two to win the game with a clean sheet because they'll never win one nil. Mm. <laughs> well, they are winning one nil. Um, they are at the moment. They are at the moment, I guess. Yeah, at the yeah. moment, the key part of that sentence. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they could hold on, couldn't they? Yeah, I mean, they've got this far. I mean, they've had a few narrow escapes, haven't they? Mm. Bayern cross comes back in. There's too much on that. Harlem, by the way, is now odds against to score for the first time tonight. He's 2.0. Oh, right. okay. 2.05. Yeah. Kane is 3.6 any time. Um, what options does City have on their bench to try? I mean, obviously, they've got their, their best 11 out, naturally. Uh, on the bench... Oscar uh, Bob. Oscar Bob, Alvarez, Doku, Kovacic, Nunes, Stones, Ake... Uh, Real Madrid, by the way, have Modric, Hosselu, Lucas, Garcia, Gula, Diaz, Caballos, uh, Militao. So they they've got a they've got a few options if they need to yeah. change things up. So what what I mean, Alvarez Alvarez has sort of dropped off a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, I've not been fall. not been that impressed with him lately when no. I, when I've seen him. Doku obviously had a great game the other day. Mm. Um, he you could see him coming on and just running at them. Yeah, tired legs. Yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, yes. Uh, so we haven't seen a change yet. Uh, we are obviously waiting for uh, either English side to score. We might, if if this, if it doesn't happen soon, we might run another spot bet concurrently. But mm. we'll just we'll just hang fire on that because we are only at the 60th minute. Mm. Well done to Viv. So total saves over six and a half at one point yes. five. Done and dusted. In Cha-ching. The, in the City game. Yeah, well done, Viv. We looked looked a good bet when you put it up and. It's looking even better now as uh, ball comes in from Arsenal. It's a yellow card. Is that for Jack Grealish? Who wanted that bet at the start? Is it? Let's have a look. What's he done? Him and Carver- yeah, he's, he's dived yeah. in. Him yeah. and Carvajal are having a right old battle, aren't they? Yeah. Tonight? Make yourself known. Who was it who yeah. asked for the uh, the price on a Grealish card? And both have been booked. So oh, it was Imarios. Yeah, Imarios. So they've been at each other all night. Mm. Both have now got a yellow yeah. card. So that. that that kind of battle will have to cease, be reined in a little mm. bit. Real Madrid fans just giving it the old, getting a bit of confidence now as the game ticks on towards the hour mark. Mm. Tell you what, you lot on the chat are pretty good, aren't you? Um, Viv obviously predicting the total saves, which has landed after about 60 minutes. Uh, we had Imarios predicting the Grealish yellow card, which has also landed after mm. about 60 yeah. minutes. You're not bad, you lot, you know? <laughs> You're not bad, are you? Uh, if anyone else wants to share their bets, uh, do let us know. Anyone's got any thoughts on what might happen from here on in? Anyone got any hackers that desperately need something to change? Uh, do let us know. Come and join us if you're not on there already on Telegram. It is the Clubhouse TV live stream chat. And who who do you think will... Sc- well, I'll, I'll go for, rather than the anytime score, I'll go for the player to score the next goal either okay. second. Yeah. If you think City are going to turn this around, who do you think will score their equaliser? Phil Foden at 7.1. Uh, Bernardo Silva, 11.5. Mm-hmm. I feel he's dipped a little bit. Do you remember yeah. in this game last year against Real Madrid, he was a mess, yeah. wasn't he? He's not scoring with those Elvis legs, though, is he tonight, yeah, No, he's well, not been scoring for a while, has he, really? No. Um, Rodri, um, he's popped up in games. like he, He's got City out of a few problems, hasn't he? Got yeah, he's a, big ga- he's a big game yeah. player, isn't he? Yeah, as a shot goes over the top from uh, Arsenal. 13.5 that it's Rodri who gets equal. Oh, another yellow cards. Well, can't, well, it's Gavardiol. Yeah. Jack Gavard- Gray, this was in pitch you going. I mean, he's arguing yeah. the case, but it is mm. Gavardiol, yeah. Um, foul on Bellingham. Uh, Grealish himself to score the next goal, 10.5. Um, you've got Haaland is 3.85 to mm. get the equaliser. Kev De Bruyne, 8.9. And then you're looking at some of the defenders around 26, maybe from corners. Gavardiol, Akanji. At half time, by the way, um, over eight and a half corners was 1.97 in the buying game. This is corner number six here, so we are creeping towards that. They've all been for Bayern Munich so far. Uh, there's been 12 corners in the other game, and they've all been to City. So the both away sides here 
have not had a corner. In fact, that, that might be one of the future spot bets, Dave, just for one of the away sides to have a corner. Yeah. That could be a, a good option. Yeah, because the, f- the other one's not doing anything, no. is it? I'll tell you what, let's do that. Let's run that concurrently. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's be let's be wild and outrageous. Let's have a, an, an either away side, Arsenal or Real Madrid, to have a corner in either of their games. Once they do, another one of the free bet lands. Um, where did your compass settle then on the uh, on the goal scorer? I interrupted you with corner chat. Apologies. Yeah, well, I, the presumption with all that chat was that it would be a City player, wouldn't it? Mm. What if it's Jude Bellingham at 14? Mm. Mm. What if it's um, Rodrigo at 15.5? Yeah, it could be. What if it's Vinicius Junior at 14? Well, we talked about his pace, didn't we, on the break? Yeah. An Arsenal player goes down there. That was Saka who hit the deck. Gets up. Nothing given. Say, I'm sort of speculating wildly now. Say Man City go out. Mm. Then they, they're going to... Oh. I think we've got a goal oh, in Germany. And it could be for not an English team, but for Bayern Munich. Yeah, Bayern on the attack. They won it back, actually, in their own half. So down the right-hand side, I think it's driving into the box. It's palmed away to cross to the other side of the area. Left foot cross and bang oh, with the header. Oh, that is a brilliant header. A bullet header. And Bayern lead. Wow. Did we say something about Joshua Kimmich at the start of the, the show? You, I'm sure you said you had some sort of comment on it, didn't you? Did you say he was a good a threat or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you said something. Yes, I yeah. definitely did. Yeah. Didn't you say him to score any time? <laughs> yeah. Well, you d- I, I yeah. don't know, actually. You definitely mentioned him, though, didn't you? <laughs> That's I just read his name out. Yeah, maybe, it? yeah. yeah. Anyway, he scored. I'm it's hoping a, it was more than that. Yeah. It's a great header, though. A really good header. He, he, came he comes in late, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. That's it. No one picks him up. So the ball goes across the other side of the area, then it's back in, and he just appears. Look at that! Whoa! There's that Bang. Three, three Arsenal f- players just kind of stood yeah. still, and he's he's got all the momentum. Not stopping that. Yeah. Not stopping that one Great bit. Header. Yeah. Well, this is. Yeah, I was about to say. Imagine this is all getting a bit odd, isn't it? Because we all, well, a lot of people presumed it was going to be an Arsenal Man City semi final. Mm. Imagine if City go out tonight and then they run it. They then play Chelsea mm. and good Chelsea turn up in the semi final. Yeah, yeah. With, with Cole Palmer, there's a there's a story, isn't it? Waiting to happen. Yeah, Cole, Cole Palmer. Palmer. Yeah, knocking his old club out of the. Um, I still, it's incredible that Cole Palmer is now top of the goal scoring chart. Oh yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. How? <laughs> yeah, for a side who've been so awful yeah. so often and this for season, for not even like a striker. I know. Just, yeah, like, incredible player. Uh, Viv says, over nine corners at 1.87 in the Bayern game. Let's go. Dark Devil says, Bayern goal, Bayern goal, says Viv. Um, Emarios was, um, says, I refreshed at half time, waiting to be graded, but didn't place the bet. Um, and yeah, talk about the Grealish booking as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they got that, uh, that nail. But yeah, goal for Bayern. Bayern lead, Real Madrid lead. Mm. Well, uh, so obviously um, Bayern are, are clear favourites to go through now, but but Real Madrid are now favourites to qualify. Um, mm, okay. 1.8, 1. Man City 1.95. Another chance for Bayern. It's scooped over the bar from uh, Sane. Here's, here's something interesting, actually. Second goal Bayern, yeah. 3.3. They're the outsiders to get the second goal, assuming that they don't go for a second goal now and they sit on this. But they've just had another chance. Oh, that's a good price, though. Yeah. Because Arsenal will have to throw men at it, won't they? Yeah. 3.2 is coming down slightly. But second goal of the game, Bayern, I'd be be absolutely all over that. Yeah, Yeah, 3.2. Gamble responsible, obviously. How about this for... If you've got that open, how about Rail second goal as well? Okay. In a double. Let's have a look, Bayern and Rail second goal. Yeah. To kind of probably kill the game off. So Real Madrid to score the next That'd goal. Be a big prize, I'd imagine. Fives. Yeah. So five and three point two going in. That makes sixteen yeah. for the, uh, the the well, the two non English sides to uh, to score. Um, I don't think I've I don't think we've missed either of the uh, away sides having a corner yet. But if if we do, let us know. Yeah. If we do, uh, keep us up to date. As soon as you see a corner. Uh, for either of the waysides, another free bet will land. It's 12 corners to zero in favour of Man City. And uh, last time we checked, it was six to zero. Yet yeah, it still is in favour of Bayern in that game. So all the corners going to both of the home sides. Here comes City. 
down the right. Oh, there's oh, too much on that. Bit of frustration in the crowd now. Loads of cards in this. In, oh, that's to a. Uh, is that a member of Tuchel's team? Or is it a member of Arteta's team who's been booked there? I don't know who that is. Uh, he's, he's frustrated either well, way. He's sort of bench guys who get up. Yeah. One of the bench guys yeah. has been booked. Uh, Arsenal making a double change here as well. Double change for Arsenal. Yeah, Gabriel Jesus comes on. He does. Looks like Trossard as well. Yeah, Jorginho, one of the players going off. Can't see who the other is yet. Yeah, so Jorginho has, has gone off. So, they're, yeah, they're going to have to go for it, aren't they? Martinelli's the other one who's gone off. Right. So Martinelli and so, yeah. uh, Jorginho off. Jesus so and Trossard on. Two attacking players on then and... One attacking player, but one defensive midfielder off. Mm. Fair dues, you've got to go for it. Got to go for it now, yeah. Got to get some corners as well. As uh, Bayern win it back, Bayern have got their tails up now. And they have got themselves a free kick. When did Bayern play at the weekend? Was it wasn't Friday, was it? No, they played at three o'clock, at two thirty on Saturday. Right. They beat. Uh, they beat someone two 0 They beat. Uh, FC yeah. Kern, I think they yeah. beat FC Kern two 0 Yeah. And Madrid, they played Saturday tea time. We were, I was in the studio for that. They okay. played at five thirty. They won one 0 away at Mallorca. Right. Mm. Just seeing if there was an edge there in terms of. Yeah. Because obviously foreign teams, um, as in non English teams, are, are, are much better, aren't they? At letting their teams have more of a gap. Well, PSG had the weekend off, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or they get them to play Friday night sometimes. They sort of do all they can to help yeah. them in Europe. Well, Juventus, we Juventus always play Friday night when they're yeah. in the Champions well, League. We, don't they? In England, they don't <laughs> care anything. No. Do they? So yeah. Arsenal played on Sunday mm. in a 4 pm kickoff. Mm. I know we're Wednesday night, but. Yeah, City played Saturday, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, Dortmund played at 2 30 Saturday as well. They played Gladbach. I was trying to work out whether there was any advantage. Barca mm. played. Barca played Saturday as well, I think. Yeah, I can't remember when Atleti played. I can't imagine. I don't. I can't imagine the Spanish authorities would have put them on at a, a bad time. But yeah. Oh, Atleti played Saturday lunchtime. Yeah. So yeah, there's, there's no real advantage there. But like you say, the English sides don't. They get very little help. Yeah. As De Bruyne wins a corner, another City corner, corner number thirteen. And if, for a, City. Ma and if a manager does complain, then uh, they just get. Pelters, don't they? Yeah. For, for moaning. But yeah, the the French authorities gave uh, gave their their Champions League and Europa League sides the whole weekend off, so PSG and Marseille mm. didn't play. I mean, this is crunch time now for Arsenal and Man City. Seventy mm. minutes gone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, time's Premier ticking by. In Premier League games, we kind of know what happens and that they come back. But mm. um, I mean, Arsenal have just lost at home to Villa. Mm. I mean, that's their season, really, in, in big trouble, isn't it? If it they, is, they, yeah. Suddenly, from what could be an amazing season. Simu says, Arsenal, damn. I bet there's a few fans saying that inside the Alliance, mm. in the away section. Betting now, Man City. I think I need to refresh that. That's an old price. Um, I've got 6.0 yeah. for Man City. Six, now. the draw, 2.76, 1.92. To, to, to qualify market, City, 2.38. Here they come. Madrid 1.54. Oh, low keeper. shot. And the keeper Saves. grabs it at the second attempt. City haven't bought on anyone yet, have they? No, They've not, not yet. on Doku or anybody. No. Apparently, there's been 10 shots in the last 10 minutes in the uh, Bayern Arsenal game. That one undoubtedly hotting up. But no corners for no corners, the no. away teams. No, no corners, no goals uh, for the teams that we require. Here come Real Madrid. Could they get a corner? I mean, they might get a few corners yeah. for time wasting later on. Could they get a goal? I mean, imagine yeah. that. 5.0 to get the next goal, Real Madrid. 2-0 for me, eh? Oh, I don't know if City could come back from that. Not now. If if, if Real Madrid has scored on 30 minutes... There's a chance for Real Madrid. There's a man completely free in the middle. Oh, oh, the ball wasn't quite good enough. No. Vinicius Junior, better ball. I suppose Edison does well to come out yeah. and block it and intercept the, where the ball's going to be crossed. Mm, he does. But he was waiting alone, wasn't he? Totally unmarked. That's mm. the thing. Gaps will start to appear now. That's why yeah. back in the team's already 1-0 up to score the next goal isn't daft. No, it is not. 
Um, what what price did we say? It was about 16s, wasn't it, for Bayern and Real Madrid to score the second goal of the game? I'm just going to see if that's changed. don't think it has because nothing has changed situationally, has it? Um, next goal. Oh, it's actually gone up. You're getting 20.95 now for Bayern and Real Madrid to score the next goals of their games. Here comes Oscar Bob, replacing Jack Grealish, who's on the booking, of course. I'd mentioned this earlier, but this is... Oh, sorry, it's Doku. Oscar Bob oh, yeah. is, was warming up as well. Oh, yeah, but Doku, that's a yeah. sort of natural replacement. Yeah. I've said this before, this is bad news for the old coefficient, isn't it? Mm. With the two English teams no going efficient, out. no efficient, wasn't it? Soon. Mm. Very good. Thank um, you. <laughs> and then Liverpool go out, as they probably will tomorrow, and that's three... Do you honestly think there's no there's no coming back? Uh, no, I'm not writing it off, no. No, okay. Because we did win there 5-0. Yeah. Mm. It's one of those ones, isn't it? What do you do if you're what do you do if you if you're them? Do you just go, oh, well, we'll just They've they've de- you're right. They've definitely got the trickier dilemma. Yeah, they don't quite know what to do. Mm. I don't know. And say yeah. Liverpool get to 2-0, is that feeling, oh my god, we're going to blow it and Liverpool yeah, we know all about them coming from mm. the side. You don't want to be two 0 up. Yeah, it is definitely Liverpool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, they, they've retrieved three goal deficits before. Yeah, yeah. I was looking. I was. I was reminiscing about that. Um, that day, those couple of days in the Champions League was it 2017, where Spurs came back against Ajax in the second leg. They were f- 2019. 2019. And then Liverpool came back the following day or the day before. I can't remember which way round yeah. the fixtures were, but yeah, that was a that was a great couple of days of Champions League action, Amazing. that wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Two two sensational comebacks, and this is. I mean, I know it's not Champions League; it's Europa League, but it's going to take some turnaround. But it can be done. It can be done. Barcelona PSG as well, of course. That was uh, that. That was twenty seventeen, wasn't it? I think that's where I got that from. The six nil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Who's this having a corner? Ah, ah Madrid. It appears to be Arsenal having a corner. Oh, Arsenal, sorry. Yeah, hmm. Arsenal having a corner. So it's one of these. Well, there we go. Arsenal may not have gotten the score sheet, but they've got themselves a corner. And that means we have got another free bet to give away. They've just won another corner. They've won so another no. corner. Yeah, Hello. the floodgates have opened. That doesn't mean another free bet. It doesn't. No, I'm afraid not. No. Uh, But we will be giving away two free bets of 10 USDT very shortly. We'll just see what happens with this second corner and with this City attack as well. Because you can't take your eyes off these at the moment. City on the left-hand side. It's blocked. Yeah, Doku trying to make an early Mm. impact. Cutting in, but his shot is blocked. And it's still in City possession. Uh, Arsenal still haven't taken this next corner yet. It is going to be whipped in from the left-hand side. Rice is going to take pressing. it. Yeah. That's blocked. It kind of reminds me of this sort of narrative. You know you know when Liverpool beat Man United 7-0 mm. and they think, oh, what are they going to do next? And since then, they've really struggled against Man United. Yeah. So it's yeah. like Man City produced this incredible 4-0 win last year. It's almost like, where'd you go from there? Yeah. And, yeah. You, and you sometimes see this. You, one team get absolutely hammered and they somehow turn it, yeah. flip it. Yeah. There's, there's a bigger... I know what you, you mean. can ever think. I think there's, I think there's some sort of evidence, isn't there, where teams mm. in the Premier League have lost nine nil mm. in the first game of the season, and they go play the next one, and they win yeah. it or draw yeah. it. Yeah, you like are Leicester Southampton. Yeah, you know, when Leicester you, won nine nil. It's one of two ways that you either crumble and you get a little bit yeah. of a stigma about that opposition, or you bounce back from it. Uh, Maz Rui's gone off, by the way, for Bayern. Uh, Kim Min Jai has replaced him. So, uh, yeah, a bit of tightening up for Bayern as they go one up and uh, wait for Jensen. Oh, go, Man go, go. City. Oh. Man City might have got out of jail here. Yeah, indeed. Uh, just we, as the pitches go. We, <laughs> they don't like goals tonight, the pitches, do they? Yeah. We are giving away a free bet very shortly when you see Jen say go, go, go. We will be um, giving away another free bet. So, City, can they uh, rescue this tie? They're down the left-hand side. The cross came in. It was not defended properly. And that is put away by Kevin Kev De Bruyne. De Bruyne. <laughs> I think Keeper made a bit of a mess of that, to be fair, Dave. He, uh, he just knocked it straight out. De Bruyne was in position. De Bruyne struck. Mm. And City are level. They're level and they're now 1.28 to qualify. Mm. Real Madrid out to 3.5. Um, City to get this done in regulation time, 90 minutes, 
Real Madrid 11.5. Yeah, indeed. Uh, they are in front. 90-minute markers. I've got City at 2.42 now. 1.85 for the yes, draw and 10.5 right. for Real Madrid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we said go, go, go. Let's get some uh, usernames in there, please. We'll give away another free bet. Hakan says City. City says NT. Uh, two free bets land in a row as well. Yeah, we've got another one to give away now that City have scored as well. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll just do one. We'll do one at a time. This is for the corners, this one. We'll do the um, the City goal one for probably about the next five minutes or so. Um, but yeah, this is for the corners one. So those usernames are in. Well done to everyone who's got involved in the free bets. You've waited patiently. And now we've had two land in a row. In fact, they came in quite quick succession at the start as well, didn't they? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. There we are. Stop, stop, stop. That's gone in. Excellent stuff. Uh, we will pick a couple of uh, winners then in mm -hmm. that case. Let's get Jen to uh, count up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. Doing one of my favourite things in life. Yeah. It's a four all on aggregate now. That's a Real Madrid Man City game. Wow. Right, the first winner of this latest round of free bets is <laughs> Simu. Simu, well done. You won yourself a free bet, Simu. You are the latest. And then the next winner is Ente. Ente, you've got a free bet as well. Well done to both of our winners, and indeed all of our winners tonight. Uh, we do have another one to give away imminently. We'll do it in about five minutes or so but it's there it's waiting it's on the table uh, we'll give it away in a few moments time uh, meanwhile City on the attack trying to get a quick fire second goal they've made the breakthrough now do they get the winner next goal City 2.28 next goal Real Madrid 6.8 no further goals 1.80 what do you think Dave do City get a quick fire second or indeed just a second at any point from all I've seen... I've oh, seen... shot from distance from De Bruyne, and that yeah. is only just tipped well, over by the goalkeeper. Well, there you go. That yeah, was yeah. really, really close. From all I've ever seen of City, my answer to that would be yes. Mm. I would um, I would happily play them at that price. What are we now? 2.6 to get the winner. Mm. And it was, it was almost De Bruyne at the yeah. double there as yeah. well. So they've got, what, 10 minutes regulation time? Probably another three or four. So mm. they've maybe got 14 minutes... Yeah. Because there's not a lot coming back the other way, is no, there? No, not now. No. No. Well done, Viv. Viv's landed the over nine corners at 1.87. Done and dusted. Black Dog says there will be extra time. Yeah, well, it looks that way mm. uh, for the Man City game. Although I, th I still think they can uh, I think they can win that. Luka Modric is coming on, by the way. Well, what, what, do, what do Real Madrid do now? Do they try and play for penalties? Yeah, I mean, they don't. Do they have enough momentum to to go and win it now? Because they weren't even apart from that Vinicius Junior chance, they weren't yeah. counterattacking that much, were they? Or do they think, well, it's going to be a slow death this, and they're mm. probably, you know, we've got another thirty minutes of added. That's a long, mm. like a half of football left. Is, thirty yeah. minutes, and then the oh, was Arsenal through around the back. Well, what was that? It was Gabriel Jesus onside there? He's kind of through, and he's just sort of. Look at this. Is he on? No, nah, he's offside. He's, I, think. I think he's offside. Does he his know arm, that? His arm's look, look offside. Look at his attempt at a shot. It's yeah. hopeless, sliced wide. Uh, Tony Cruz is the man who is replaced by Luka Modric for Real Madrid. So, uh, mm. one legend for another. Aging exactly. legend. Aging, aging legs replacing mm. aging legs. Is he, I know I wasn't very good at ages earlier. What, is, he, is, he for, is he 40 now, Luka Modric? <laughs> is he? I don't know. I, just, I, I wasn't very good before ages. Let's have a look, shall we? He is 38. He'll be 39 yeah. in September. So I thought I thought it was probably... I thought Liverpool were going to win the Champions League in 2018 because I thought he was past it. Mm. And then he, he's still going now, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, um, 39 on the 9th of September. Yeah, I, don't, I watched that game back not that long ago and yeah, I don't think he gave the ball away once no. like, all night. And majestic, isn't he, when he's at his best? Dropping his shoulder. Yeah. So maybe bringing him on, he's, they're just trying to keep the ball a bit mm. better. Bringing him on would probably suggest that they are playing for penalties. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. City have the ball. It's inside their own half at the moment. As Dave said, we are ticking down. There is 81 minutes played in that game. 82 in the buying game. Long ball looking for uh, Phil Foden. And it's cut out by Real Madrid. City have it back. They've got players for the, the swarming all over the Real Madrid defence here. They have managed to just about keep it onside. 
is out to the right. Let's see if they can get across in. There's four blue shirts in the box. And Germany Bayern have, have got a throw in deep in the Arsenal half. Mm. Just checking in on the stats in that one. 12 goals. Oh, De Bruyne. Oh, over the top. Oh. Is he the one? Should we look at I his think he is. anytime score? It was Next squared side. to him. He was in a bit of space yeah. and he has blazed it over. Oh, he really, really should have done better. That was a big, big chance. Kevin, um, he uh, is. Play it to score the next goal. I can't even see him listed. Here's the pose from the City fan behind the goal. One of those, yeah. That is that is how close it was. Yeah. Really, really close. Yeah, he's not he's not listed to score the next goal. Is he not? Goal. Well, he should be because he's had two really good uh -oh. chances. Um, yeah, there's, yeah. Um, the stats in Bayern Arsenal... 12 goal attempts to eight. Arsenal have had three shots on target to two. If you filter that to the second half. Look at this, though. Second half, Arsenal, two goal attempts, none on target. Right, OK. Not good enough. Yeah. Alexi says, by the way, uh, Lunin, the uh, Real Madrid goalkeeper, is very good at penalties. It's one of his strengths. Yeah. Uh, Viv says, play for penalties with 80-year-old Modric on, on the pitch. We were saying it slightly with our, our tongue-in-cheek, but, uh, yeah. Um, he's half of 80, isn't he? Pretty much. Half of 80. Um, Luka Modric, he went far wrong. Uh, go, 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 get your usernames in for the uh, next free bet. This was, of course, because Man City scored a goal. We we're waiting for any English side to find the back of the net. Have we got one left in theory? We have, yeah. yeah. We, haven't, we haven't decided what it is yet, have we? No, we might hold that one back. Mm. Uh, oh, poor ball from Doku. Goes straight out of play. So one all. Keep Flat. those entries coming in. We have got another two winners to uh, come. If you've not had a win tonight, maybe it's your time. Yeah, your time will come. And if you haven't had a win tonight, join us tomorrow night because here on Clubhouse TV, we'll be giving away more bets for the Europa League. Uh, it'll be. I reckon one of them will be uh, Liverpool to score the sixth goal of the game. Uh, having already gone five nil up, and that I reckon that'll be one of the criteria tomorrow. What I'll do you think? I'll take that. Hmm. Daft thing is, we'll we'll create enough chances probably to score mm. six, but we'll probably score like one. Are you watching at home? Yeah. Mm. Are, are you are you treating yourself to a nice nice meal, some chocolate or something in case it all, in case you are sad afterwards? Or? Well, I've actually um I've got a uh, like home cinema with a big screen. Oh, up, okay. So I was watching the Masters Golf on that. Mm. So I shall beam it onto that. Yeah. Huge, great, massive mm. screen, and I'll probably have a. Bag of Maltesers. Oh, good choice. Yeah, yeah. want to watch that. Yeah, I'm on a, a a Telegram group for um for the football league for a podcast that's about the football league, and uh, there's a separate section for other sports that are ongoing. And your your tweets were actually uh, quoted a few times during the Masters, actually. Um, well, then, what did I? Tweet? Well, no, you, more your your link to your your piece about the the stats ah, for okay. the Masters. Yes, a few people. Uh, yeah, a few that's people nice. quoting those. So uh, yeah, you got a few clicks off that, I think. <laughs> Uh, Dave is, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's a golf man. Very much so, aren't you? <laughs> and a football man, obviously. But uh, the Masters weekend is one of your biggest on the calendar, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's why you've got your uh, your big screen for Masters and for Liverpool matches. Here comes City. They've given it away. It's just It's actually got a bit sloppy from City in the last two or three minutes, which is not what you want if you are uh, watching on or if you're Pep Guardiola. Yeah, they're now um, 3.6 to get this done mm. in regulation time. But to qualify, they are 1.41, Real Madrid 2.78. And Brahim Diaz has just given away a free kick. It's probably about 35 yards out. So uh, I don't think they're going to take a shot from here. But a chance to build. They've taken it quickly. We've got a free kick for Arsenal, who are going to bring on Eddie and Ketia as the clock ticks on to... Well, a Hardly any time left. Four minutes left for Enketia to yeah. try and produce something. But he's, his season's sort of gone. Mm. He's not really done anything, has he? No. Uh, my pictures have gone now from the uh, the City game, which is... Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Have we, we haven't given away for that, but have we? Yeah, we just stopped, stopped, stopped yeah. it. Stopped, stopped, stopped it, even. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you'll be in with a chance of winning yourself a uh, free bet. If you're in the draw, if you've sent your username in, 20 of you have. Well done. Okay. We will do some generating. Right. Let's see. 
It's the first winner tonight is give me a B, give me an H, give me an A. It's Brahi. Brahi, you are a winner. And we have another one to give away as well. Second one is, is Dark Devil. Mm. Well right. done, Dark Devil. Yeah, yes. you've got yourself a free bet as well. 10 USDT coming your way. Uh, sort of standard stop from Raya there as Bayern broke clear. He's uh, managed to hold on to it. And it remains Bayern 1, Arsenal nil. So who would have imagined that um, across these two matches, given what happened in the first leg, we've only had three goals. I know, yeah, yeah. Well, we were looking at a, an over two and a half yeah. goals double and you were a bit worried that the price was too skinny, weren't you? Yeah. But I, I thought the same, yeah. Uh, well done to the winners. Brahi says thank you. There's you are Arsenal welcome. in the box. or oh, a low shot. I don't think the keeper needs to get anything on it. It was Odegaard. I think he hit it with his right foot. He mm. thinks the keeper got a touch on it. They've given it the old Martin Odegaard sort yeah. of appeal yeah. gesture. That ball's fancy, isn't it? Does he keep getting on this? He does, doesn't he? Yeah. Maya tips that. Does. I, don't, I don't think it's going in, but it should be a corner. And he's screaming at the officials. Yeah. He, he said, that's the second time that's happened, he mm. claims. You're welcome, Dark Devil. Another one of our winners. There'll be more winners uh, tomorrow night in the Europa League, uh, we do have one more to give away. Actually, don't we? We still haven't. Um, we still haven't done that. Um, probably. Well, it's probably going to go extra time. Probably is. City. Yeah, we'll give it away an extra time yeah. in the uh, Man City Real Madrid game. We will get our pictures back. We have lost pictures. Um, we've got a couple of streaming options, so we might have to resort to the other one. I think. Um, but we, uh, yeah, we've got to. We will get pictures back uh, shortly. Upper Meccano comes on from Sane, by the way. Yeah. Just trying to shore things up, get it mm. over the line. We're in the 89th minute, so Bayern nearly there. Yeah. Of course, Bayern would play either Man City or Real Madrid. They would indeed. Or oh, Bayern, Man City would be uh, would be a. Thing. I mean, either of those games would be would be something to look forward to. But yeah. I think Bayern, Man City would be uh, would be excellent. Pep going back, of course. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Here come Arsenal now. They've not got long. That's, this game is slightly further ahead than the Man City game, so they've got. Less time to try and rescue something here. Ball out to Saka is a bit overhit. The clock on our screen says 88.55. Uh, that is, I think, a few seconds behind. So we're definitely into the 89th, possibly 90th minute now. Mm, two balls on the pitch now. Yeah. Not ideal. No. One is booted clear. Yeah, I have to say that this. I thought Bayern might just have the know-all, this mm. kind of knowledge to get... Yeah, get yeah. through this because Arsenal it was new ground for them really for most of these players. The Arsenal are building as well, aren't they? They're going to be. Yeah. A, this a, will stand them in good stead, yeah. you think, if they get on a similar run next year. But yeah, right now it's Bayern who kind of know what to do. Yeah, Naus. It's all yeah. about, isn't it? Sometimes it's a tame save from Raya who just gets Arsenal moving straight away. It was a break from Bayern. They didn't make the most of that at all, did they? Do we know how much added time we're going to have in that one? Um, we're into the first minute of it. Four. Just four minutes. Just four minutes, yeah. 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 Arsenal. Not leaving Arsenal long, is it? Struggling. This? It's been a, a pretty miserable four days, hasn't it, mm. if you're an Arsenal fan? It has, yeah. Not been a good week at all. No, you've uh, you've not scored, and you're going to lose twice in mm. massive, massive games. Yeah. So I said at the start, Dave, I'd rather have over one and a half Bayern goals than the Bayern victory, but I think I've made the wrong decision there. Yeah. Well, I think all the bets were kind of with the presumption of goals, weren't mm. they? Yeah. As the ball comes in, back across. <sighs> oh, just can't quite get it out of his feet. Who's that that just falls over? It must be offside, I guess. Yeah. Tuchel applauding the, the linesman there for mm. putting his flag up. It's, it's his job. <laughs> Indeed, I think Havertz might have been offside, or maybe he, did he foul? But yeah, I think it was Havertz who went down, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. But the flags are waving in Bayern. They know they're two minutes away from booking a place in the semis. They are, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thomas Tuchel won it with Chelsea, maybe he did, and he's leaving at the end of the season as well. So it would be a swan song. Mm. Still won all, by the way. Man City, Real Madrid. Nothing has changed in that one. Um, Rodri's been booked in the last couple of minutes. Um, and Abraham Diaz came on for Rodrigo as well a little while ago. 
But uh, yeah, still one all. That is going to extra time as things stand. Man City, Real Madrid. We have four minutes there as well, actually. There haven't been a lot of stoppages across the two games, really, have there? No, not really. Which is always good. Another yellow in the uh, Bayern game. Mm -hmm. It's also Dundee nil, Rangers nil still. 88th still, minute right. there. As uh, Arsenal look oh, for so way back into this. Can they get one more big chance? They've just not really done enough the second half. They've still, the official count still second half Arsenal. Two goal attempts, none on target. Wow, okay. So they've just not made Neuer do anything. No. Yeah, they need to do a little bit more than that, don't they? But we're now a minute away from mm. Arsenal going out of Europe. Yes, indeed, it would be, as Dave said, a, a very, very bad few days to be an Arsenal fan. I mean, the, the positive spin is that they now focus on the league. Yeah. Where City might have a semi-final to endure, mm -hmm. as well as an FA Cup. Yeah. Although they did quite well attempting to win three trophies last year, has to be said. Yeah, they did. Gabriel Jesus has picked up a yellow card. Yeah, it didn't look to be Arsenal's night then. Done well up to a point, but I've just not given it enough, I don't think. Well, Bayern have just kind of out-experienced them. Yeah, I think that's the case. Unless there's some twist, but yeah, we've had now four minutes, so we're literally seconds left for Arsenal to save this. It's got the City uh, feedback up. We've had two minutes and 20 of the four minutes added on yeah. in this one. And it is actually in the City half, which is not good for them if they are going to try and win this. In fact, it's Real Madrid who are trying to push for the winner. But uh, yeah, City win it back. Chance to try and break through Doku. He's going to use his pace, but he can't get to that. That is overplayed. So it's like we're going to be done any minute. Arsenal really in the last knockings there. Mm. Raya runs to get the ball. And they've got a throw in, but we're already over the four now. Into the fifth added minute of four. Yeah, referee surely going to blow his whistle. One very last chance for Arsenal here. We've just got to get the ball. Got to get it into the yeah. uh, into the old mixer. We just can't seem to work. Oh, they opened up a bit of space now. Oh, brought down the right on the edge of well, the area. There you go. They've won a free kick. Yeah. Well, they tried to take a quick one. I don't know if that was the best idea. They no. won a corner from it at least. I, w I would have. I would have taken a, a a while over that. I think. Get all the big men up. Yeah. Or oh, another booking in the uh, Real Madrid game. Uh, Viv says over two and a half bookings in the Bayern game as well. Over three and a half bookings yeah. in the Bayern game. Never in doubt. Well, Ray has come up for this mm -hmm. from Saka. It's Mendy, who's been booked for Real Madrid, by the way. But I think as soon as this ball is cleared, that'll be game over. In comes the corner. Cleared away. Oh, that's a poor corner at that time and of the game, isn't full it? full time. Yeah, that is such a poor corner at that time yeah. of the game. Big dancing on the sideline. Yeah. Thomas Tuchel and his staff doing a little jig. City have a late corner as well, by the way, here. They've played four minutes now of the four added on. What we'll do, if we go to extra time, we'll take a small break and we shall come back for extra time and potentially for penalties. Mm, that'd be exciting, wouldn't it? Really exciting. I love, pen I love penalties in any form. As long as it's not your team involved. Yeah, actually, yeah. Although we're quite, we're quite good at penalties, so maybe yeah. that's, that affects my judgment. Yeah, well, down the years, Liverpool have done very well from mm. penalties, but it's pretty stressful it's to still, watch Yeah, them, isn't yeah, it? agreed, yeah. yeah. Arteta and uh, Tuchel, a little pat on the back. Pep, arms folded here. And yeah, it's full time there at City. Oh, it is on the top of the uh, the net. And that is that. So Bayern go through. They beat Arsenal by a goal to nil. It is Man City 1, Real Madrid 1. We are going to come back for extra time and potentially penalties. And remember as well, we have a free bet to give away still. So one more free bet to give away. We'll be back on the other side of this. <laughs> So this is used for post-match uh, for every home game by the home manager and the away team manager. So the press will come in here, depending on who we're playing, will depend on the number of press. The manager will be up there with his press officer 
giving his reaction to the game and how it went. So this is our flash interview area. So it's right next to the pitch. So when the players come in, we can instantly grab them before they go into the change room to do their post-match interview. But this is also where the managers will do pre and post and the players also do a pre-match interview in here. So this is set up ready for our game tomorrow. As you can see, there's a lot of setup behind it. Each broadcaster gets their own section. The camera obviously isn't set up for the player's height because depending on who they interview, the camera will need to change. We have players who are six foot five and players who are five foot four. As you see, this is the walk the players will make on a match day. The stadium holds 32,500 people. Uh, the pitch here is a hybrid pitch. So what we're stood on at the moment is obviously 100% Astro. But then when you go onto the pitch, it's 4.6% artificial. So every 10 centimeters, there's a row of artificial grass and then the real grass is grown around that. And that makes it more sturdy underfoot and makes sure the players uh, or helps avoid players getting injured as best as we can. But for a grounds team throughout the week, we only have three full-time members who work on the pitch. On a match day, that goes up to about 15 because of the damage that it takes on a match. It has to be taken care of straight away. But like I say, throughout the week, we have three people who work on the pitch. They cut it every day. Uh, full-time staff, we have 400 here at the club. That's 250 here at the stadium and 150 down at the training ground. On a match day, you're looking at about 600 to 700 staff here, which includes casual staff, so for catering, security, stewards, and then everything else around that. Every game of the English Premier League, Champions League and Europa League, live as they happen. This is Clubhouse TV. Yeah, welcome back. We're heading into extra time and penalties and a very interesting mm. substitution. Julian Alvarez is on the pitch and he is replacing Erling Haaland. Yeah. Another game goes by when Erling Haaland doesn't do anything in a no. big game. Mm. Yeah, the vultures will be circling, won't they now? Mm. Uh, so Julian Alvarez on to try and change the game in City's favour. Of course, we'll have 30 minutes of extra time and that may culminate in penalties. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, thank you to everyone who stuck around on the chat as well. If you have done, you may be rewarded with one more free bet, which we are yet to give away. We've given away four lots of two USD, 10 USD. No, I'll start again. Given away four lots of two bets of 10 USDT. That's better. Sorry for the confusion. There we go. Uh, Dark Devil says, Arsenal did not deserve to be eliminated by Bayern, who had a poor performance throughout the season. What a shame. He says, uh, hopefully it means that Arsenal are blessed with the, the Premier League title. And uh, Charaf agrees, Arsenal deserves something this year. I hope they win the Premier League title. Obviously, you don't, Dave. But um, do you agree with the sentiment that Arsenal deserve something from this season? <laughs> I kind of know what you mean, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um... I know the likelihood is Liverpool will end up um, only winning the Carabao Cup, but it was still a nice thing to have happened, especially mm. the way it happened with sort of yeah. like the kids and everything. Mm. So they've got some intangible. They've got yeah. a trophy to say that we won something. Um, so, yeah, I suppose there's only only so many trophies to go around, isn't there, mm. really? Um, Mark, yeah, if I... Um, if Liverpool don't win the title, I would rather Arsenal win it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I don't want to see City win the title. Not for me. Uh, there is a Real Madrid player down. 
Oh, it's an elbow no. to the face. Is it is an it? elbow? Or is it a side? Is it a, just a oh, side arm? I think a side arm, a forearm. Yeah. yeah. So Pep, uh, it's, it's funny watching the two managers. Pep's pacing around manically, put, uh, sort of mm. put his hand to his head. Then they just cut to, um, <laughs> they cut to Ancelotti just sort of chewing gum. Mm. He's a cool customer, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Thinking, nah, we'll be all right. We'll be fine. We're Real Madrid, he's saying. Uh, yeah, Pep has been pacing for some time now. Uh, he's not stopped for quite a few minutes. Spelling him is down, actually. Mm. Haaland is off, by the way. Haaland uh, replaced by Alvarez, as we said. Uh, no Oscar Bob yet. He was warming up earlier, but he's not on the field. So uh, City do still have that uh, in their locker if they do want to make another change. Another option. Was it Was it Alvarez who was who committed that foul? I think it was, wasn't it? I'm going to uh, I'm going to ask you a quiz question here. Okay, yeah. How many goals has Haaland scored in his last 9 games? Oh, it's not that many. Um 3, 2, 2. Oh, I'm going to say 2 as well. So he scored against Luton and Crystal Palace. Mm. Well, there we go. That backs up the Yeah. That's further evidence, isn't it? So any time they played anyone half decent, mm. so Liverpool didn't score, Newcastle didn't score. Um, I suppose a couple of them for Norway. Um, Arsenal didn't score. Real Madrid didn't score twice. Mm. Yeah, that's where you need him, isn't it? Not been a good run, has it? No, no. Because there were people who were saying at the start of the season, City on the attack here. By the way, through Doku, who's got to the byline, he's, he's put plenty on that, but it's uh, past everyone. There were people that season saying, "Oh, he could get 50 Wasn't yeah. that ridiculous statements? Like, yeah. "Oh, he's a forty. He's on. He's a forty goal a season striker," and obviously he's done brilliantly, and you know he's helped City enormously, but. He's not. He, he's probably actually underdelivered. He's got for club and country this season thirty-four goals in forty-four games. Right. It's obviously very, very, mm. very good. Very impressive. But, yeah. Yeah. You know, you're the figurehead in a Man City side. Yeah. James Butler always reckons you know me and him could score five. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> five at each. Yeah. Well, I don't <laughs> yeah. If we sort of split, have a half each. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's I don't, you don't play fantasy league, do you? I'm in it, but I haven't managed to update it this so season. Like, I don't yeah. know if he's worth the money anymore at the no. moment. Is he in yours? He is, but I I keep thinking, shall I drop yeah. him? Shall I drop him? Yeah. Who who else is in there? My team. Mm. Well, who could he? I don't know who, who replaces could, who him. Who could replace him? Yeah. Most of the good players are listed as midfielders. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's Salah and yeah. Son, for example. City trying to work a way through with uh, Phil Foden. City, by the way, to qualify 1.36, Real Madrid 2.98. City to win extra time. That's the extra time one times two market, 2.04. The same for the draw, and Real Madrid are 11. Total goals in extra time over, over 0.5, 1.55, and over 1.5, 3.25. Under 0.5, so a goalless period of extra time can be backed at 2.25. What was the comment before about penalty saving? Uh, we had a comment saying the uh, Real Madrid goalkeeper is a penalty saving specialist. Right, okay. Um, that right. is his bag, apparently. Lunin is the uh, name of the goalkeeper. Okay, um, I'm just looking up Edison's record. Hmm. Uh, in terms of saving penalties, and I need a number here, really. Yeah, uh, Hiccup City, by the way, edge of the area. They've turned back and gone to Doku. Everything's going through Doku at the moment. Uh, he is uh, taking on his man, edge of the area, played in. Oh, it squirms away. It's gone to the wrong player, and it's out for a corner. Uh, it, yeah, is there a is there like an overall stat like like? 80% of penalties are scored and 20 set and 20 missed. Is that about right? Have you ever heard that? I've not ever heard that, actually, no. Uh, no. I think it might be about that, right. It feels about right, but yeah. I've, never, I've never heard that stat before. So, basically, Ed Edison has, has faced 57 penalties. Mm. How many do you think he might have saved? He's faced 57 penalties. I reckon he saved seven Good effort. Six. Oh, okay. But I would say that's that's kind of yeah. below average. Feels low, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Here comes City again. I'll get the stats. I can get the stats on the um, on the 
road with goalkeeper if we can. We'll have a look for that in a second. But uh, City on the attack through, uh, well, it was Doku, and now it is uh, back to Bernardo Silva, and then we've got uh, Kevin is De Bruyne joining as well. Looning, is it? It is, yeah. Let me, because I'm on that page now. Uh, and Andre Lunin. Yeah. It's all City here. All City. They've not barely given the ball oh, to Real Madrid. There you go. There you go. What's his numbers? I'm going to give, oh, you, okay, I'm, I'm gonna okay. give you them in percentages. Okay. Let me just get my percentage calculator out. Uh, so. He's come out Lunin and collected the ball. Uh, Julian Alvarez. It was Six. sort of half a lob, but uh, he is... Uh, He's managed to collect it. So Edison saves 10.5% of his penalties, right? Okay. Whereas Lunin... So he's only got 10% to beat. Mm -hmm. 36% wow, he saved. Wow, okay. What's that in numbers have you got? So he saved eight penalties and conceded 14. Okay, yeah, that is, that is pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. So if this goes to a shootout, in terms of the goalkeepers... You'd rather have Loon in between your sticks, wouldn't you? You would rather have Loon in between so your sticks. So it'd be yeah. interesting. Well, I, mean, I know there's other factors, like it, it's at Manchester City, then the, you know, there's, there's the five players taking the penalties, mm. but the market will be loaded for City. Yeah. So it could be, you know, sp it's a, mm. a sporting bet based on keeper yeah. saving stats that Madrid would be the bet. So Madrid to qualify 2.98 looks appealing. Could but be, couldn't yeah. it, given the fact that, yeah, that, they have the man in between the posts that could be yeah. a difference maker. Just a goal in extra time is now 1.59. No goals in extra time is 2.18. We've played seven and a half, maybe just eight minutes of the first half. So we're halfway through the first half of extra time. And it is still one all between Manchester City and Real Madrid. As uh, Real Madrid come forward for the first time, actually, in extra time, City have conspired to win it back and now they're on the move De Bruyne's ball it's a bit overplayed but they have done okay here City there's uh, players busting a gut to get in the box that won't reach away. them though yeah nodded away I think it was Rudy. Nacho was okay. it Rudiger that Rudy, one I yeah Rudiger one. and here comes City again controlling this really well but not finding a way through just yet Doku swerves inside he goes back to Doku. He's on the edge of the area. He's got support behind him. I don't know if he's noticed that yet. He's gone all the way out to Bernardo Silva. He's lashed oh, that in. Oh, dear. Just Foden kind of got his feet a bit mixed not, up. I don't think he's had a good game at all, no, Foden. No, I don't. And the ball's fizzed in fast, but yeah. but he can't. Does he just... He kind of it's kind of a bit behind him, isn't it? And then he kicks... Kicks it sort of against his other leg. Doesn't really make proper contact. No. Just sort of... Yeah, if that was if he was having a good night, it's all about the timing now. Yeah, it? he just looks a bit out of kilter. Last week he would have put that in. Yeah, easily, and definitely the week before that was his hat trick night, wasn't it? Here comes City again. Yeah, they are going for this, aren't they? Yeah, out to the right hand side. Yeah, I, don't, I presume, kind of manage do do everything. Yeah. They'll be aware that the the other goalkeeper's yeah. got this good record, won't yeah. they? They'll be thinking we don't need to. Penalties, thank you. Let's get this no. done and dusted. Rodri, back to uh, Diaz. Fired in. Yeah, it's, it's a bit yeah. one-way traffic, this, isn't it, really? Mm. Defence against attack. Yeah, and uh, it is uh, Silver who can't keep it in. Slides try and prevent the throw-in. And Real Madrid are preparing a change here. They've already brought Diaz and Modric on, about to uh, make another. But just to sort of show you what Real Madrid... Um, the one nil up at half time going to the second half second half stats 14 goal attempts to one in favour of City wow so and Real Madrid basically weren't no given up attacking in that second half and Real Madrid still haven't had a corner <laughs> yeah. we've had 16 corners yeah. in this game they've all gone to Manchester City we've we still got three bet haven't we in this we have got well yeah should we just yeah. say a goal yeah let's do a goal in extra time if a yeah. goal comes in extra time for either side the final free bet tonight will be triggered. That was a good battle, wasn't it? Mm. Vinicius Jr. with all his pace. He's up against the one man he didn't want to be up against. Kyle yeah. Walker, who's outpaced him. Still fast at yeah, 33, 34. 34. Yeah. Not doing very well on this age thing tonight. But. <laughs> he's probably 35. Yeah. He's probably, still, he's probably still only 28. 
Uh, so City mounting another attack. Here they are centrally this time. Back out to Doku. Doku's running at the defender. She's He's cut it. inside and it's oh, come off the corner. defender's legs and out for another corner. That is the 17th City corner of the game. Off Rudiger. So we've had 11 minutes of this first period. It goes yeah. quite quick, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got really fast, yeah. Here comes the change for Real Madrid. It's going to be Lucas who is replacing Vinicius Junior, who uh, is down on the ground. So speaking to his Brazilian teammate, mm. Edison, who's kind of trying to help him up. Yeah, he's saying, come on, we need to we need to get on with this. So, so with this chase with Kyle Walker, did he... What did he do? Uh, did he sort of stretch a bit there? Mm. It might be precautionary, this. I mean, they've got La Liga sewn up, obviously, but if they go through, they want him fit. Yeah, I don't think it's anything serious. No, I think, he, I think he's milking it a little bit. I think he's miffed it. He got outpaced. Mm. Yeah. But Lucas Vasquez is going to come on for him. He is indeed. So a change for Real Madrid. So obviously a manager will be... I don't, maybe Lucas Vasquez is a good penalty to make. Yeah, you'd think about that yeah. now, wouldn't you? Yeah. Manager will, yeah, have to think mm. about that. So City would have... Well, City have got... You know, the man who takes the penalties has gone off Haaland. Yeah. Alvarez has taken them. You'd have Foden before. on one, wouldn't you, I think? Yeah, De Bruyne. I imagine Rodri takes a good penalty. Feels like a... I imagine Rodri does everything well. Yeah, he Cooks yeah. a good meal. Yeah, I bet he does, yeah. 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 I bet, do you know what? I bet he can... If he went camping, I bet he'd have that tent up in seconds. Yeah. Isn't he... Hasn't he got a degree? Didn't he get a uni? Yeah, he's, he's, quite, he's clever, clever as well, isn't he? Yeah. 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 Quite handsome as well. He's got everything. What a, what a guy. What a guy. He's got everything, hasn't he? Yeah. Not that either of us are jealous, of course. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Real Madrid have uh, get things moving again. We've played, as Dave said, 103 minutes of this uh, extra time. It does go quickly, especially when City are desperate for a goal, although they've just given away a free kick here. Bellingham has gone over again. I've seen a lot of him, have we? Tonight, well, Bellingham. Hopefully saving himself for the summer. Yeah. De Bruyne has just given him a little mm. shove. As indeed. It's a 4-4 four, four on aggregate. Mm -hmm. Pacing. Yeah. Looking like a man. <laughs> sort of very much deep in thought. What can he do? What can he do to make the difference? He's looking, it? he's looking like a man who's outside the... Um, like the mechanics pacing up and down, waiting for the bill, waiting for the, the, the total yeah. amount to come through. Yeah. Fearing that the VAT is yet mm. to be added. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fearing that they found something else in the service. Yeah. There they are. He's probably hungry as well. He doesn't eat, does he? On no, he day. doesn't. So this is a very, He's very starving. late finish for him. Yeah. 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 God, imagine that was me. You wouldn't, you, you, you wouldn't be standing, would you? I, I get um, I get I just get rather sort of sad. I Do don't, you? I don't get anxious, so I just sort don't of get angry. I just get a bit mm, yeah, a bit low. Mm. I don't eat. Will you be sat down then? I'll be sat down. Yeah, mm. sort of hoping for some food. What, sort of questioning your own like your your own stance, wouldn't you? As in, like, question your, yeah. own, your own, your own, why am I doing this? Why do I not eat yeah. until until match day? <laughs> like I said, how, how could I sit down? Not your own stats, <laughs> yeah. Badger, yeah. 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 If I was stood up, I could question my own stance. Yeah, you could, yeah. Yeah, because you'd want could, to be yeah. sat down, yeah. 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 So it could be a buffalo stance. Could be, yeah. As, as the song goes. Yeah. Nina Cherry, reference. Yeah. We're, yeah. Just, we're just talking nonsense now. City, um... Well, we're nearly at the first 15 minutes is nearly up on this mm. uh, portion of extra time. I do find it hard to believe, by the way, that Pep doesn't eat something. That he doesn't just smuggle a baby bell in his pocket. Yeah. Or, like, you know, just doesn't grab half a Twix on the way out. Pepper Army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cheese string. Yeah. <laughs> Pepper Army is perfect, isn't it? Given it his, would be. Given his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two added minutes in the first half. This is, that's, that's actually his full name, isn't it? Pepper Army Guardiola. Yeah. Mm. It's a sort of Spanish thing. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so, our penalty specialist is going to take this goal kick. Any other foods begin with pep? Pep. Peppers. peppers. Yeah, lots yeah. of peppers. Mm. Yeah. So he would have had some pepper army with peppers. A sprinkle of pepper on top. Yeah. Peppercorns, that is. Yeah. While mm. he gave himself a pep talk. Mm. Indeed. Like a TED talk. 
So uh, goalkeeper has cleared the lines. We've played 107 minutes now of uh, of this one. And uh, the teams are still yet to be separated. Bellingham, has he won his side a corner? Is this the first round of a corner? Ever, yeah. Ever, yeah. Night. It As is? They are, well, they're bringing up... Well, so they should, to celebrate the fact, yeah. Rudiger and a few of the bigger lads from the back. Get um, the big lads up. Yeah. Um, Man City to qualify, 1.51, Real Madrid 2.46. Mm. Yeah, and you can still back a goal in extra time as well. 1.89 is the price on that now. It's probably not happening in the first half, but there's still 15 to go. Under 0.5 first half, um, extra time goals is 1.89. If you fancy a couple of extra time goals... That is 4.5. You can also back over four and a half corners in extra time. Well, Real Madrid have just had their first of the game. 1.62 under four and a half is oh, 2.16. Well, there's oh. a chance. Ball in. And, well, it was Rudiger who stayed up from the corner. Yeah. The ball bounces through to me. He said that's to volley it quite quickly. They just hoofs oh, it wide, doesn't yeah. it? It's difficult because... He's got to get across, across him. He's yeah. got to wrap his foot, but it's a bit of a defender's kind of. Had that been a striker, would that yeah. have been testing the goalkeeper at least? Yeah. I think so yeah. Half time in extra time. Mm. Fifteen more to go. Rudiger gets a pat on the head from his teammates. Pep applauds. A furious applause as well. Yeah. Maybe as um, kind of like a milkshake. Yeah. It's quite it's sort of filling. Yeah, he could have that, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. A yop. He could have a bottle of yop, yes. couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep him going. Right, he pulls in Doku for or a smoothie. little chat. Smoothie, maybe. Yeah, that yeah. would be healthy. Any then. suggestions for Peps? Yeah, I mean, what's he going to have when he gets home? Because or when he wait, he's not going home. He, well, but I imagine he's Spanish, isn't he? They eat at yeah, midnight. Yeah, they do eat late. Yeah. yeah, so he won't mind that, will he? Yeah, have some. Oh, uh, a bit of paella on the go, wouldn't they? I'd imagine, yeah. Mm. Celebratory paella, maybe. Yeah, nice uh, chorizo sausage. Mm. Some patatas bravas. Mm. Right. All the cliches, yeah. Bandidas, what's that meatballs one? I like that one. Is it Ab Abagandidas? Oh yeah, yeah. Like that. Do you know what? I just as as a, this is a bit of a diversion, but I was looking at the um, the Mister Men books today in <laughs> Spanish. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, I, really? I, yeah. I, I think I quite like them. I like them better in in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. They sort of roll off the tongue nicely. They do a bit. Yeah, yeah. Had a bit of fun. There's not as many. In, they haven't translated as many to Spain. Um, so they it's the same characters. Is yeah, most of the same characters. Is there yeah. like one? Is there a Pep Guardiola called Mr. Manic or something? There's like not. That? No. But there's Mr. Perfecto. Ah, you can right. probably guess who he is. Uh, there's Miss Allegria. What does she? That's do? little Miss Sunshine. Okay, yeah. Uh, Mi Miss Princessa. Yeah. Mm, and Mr. Desastroso. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you think who he might be? Mr. Uh, Desastroso. Mr. Bump or something. Mr. Messi. Mr. Messi. Right. Yeah. I thought it'd be. Yeah, he just says walking disaster. And one more for you, Mr. Phillies. Mr. Phillies, La ladies' man. I don't know. No, what, what's Phillies Navidad mean? Oh yeah, um, so happy, Mr. Happy. Yeah, Mr. Happy. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, uh, Mr. Alto is Mr. Tall as well. Right, Mr. Tickle. Uh, he is Mr. Cosquilas. <laughs> it's better, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Cosquilas is better yeah. than Mr. Tickle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, just a bit of a diversion, but mm. I, I think Mr. Men books are better in are better in Spanish. Yeah. That's a claim. Yeah. <laughs> strong <laughs> strong opinions on this yeah. service, yeah. 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 If you think differently, let us know. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you're the better in your language. Who knows? Anyway, back underway. You're probably glad of that. We're back underway. Um and it is still one all between Manchester City and Real Madrid. Manchester City one point five one to qualify, two point four six for Real Madrid to qualify. And to win an extra time, 2.78 for Manchester City, 10.5 for Real Madrid, and it, the draw at 1.6. Is the Madrid price a bit crazy? To qualify or just generally? Just to, to win this in extra yeah, time. Yeah, 10.5. I suppose it is because they had that chance at the yeah. end of the first half, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. There's some sort of gaps. I don't know. Mm. I just feel like there's enough quality on there for one of them to do something. Mm. Definitely. And if City are, are so determined to push forward, they are... They're yeah. all, they don't leave many gaps, but they're, they are going to probably leave uh, a couple, yeah. I mean, the, the the qualified price, I don't know how much they're going to move as the clock ticks on, but mm. if Real Madrid are still this, whatever, high twos, yeah. given their keeper and his penalty record, you've got to yeah. think that's a bet. That's it has gone down a bit. It was 2.98 at the start of extra mm. time. It's now 2.46. So down yeah. a little bit, but not, not loads. Not a load, but maybe if you... Th 
think they get to penalties, you need to maybe go in on that now, maybe. Mm. Yeah, because you'll lose some value, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe think they can hold out. Mm. So, well, it's not long, is it, really? It's another, what, 13 a, and a half minutes? Yeah, yeah, just under 15 minutes mm. to uh, to keep hold of the City. It's going to be wave after wave, isn't it, of uh, City pressure, you suspect? They found a, a bit of space on this right-hand side, but would have quickly closed that. Are they called Mr. Men? Uh, is it like Senior or something? What is it? Oh, I don't know, actually. Let me have a look, see if it says it on the books. Well, uh, well there's nothing happening. Uh, no, they are called Mis- Mr. Men, yeah. Okay. And Little Miss, yeah. It's just the names are different, yeah. Uh, Mr. Fiscon is Mr. Nosy. There's another one for you. Mr. Fiscon? Mr. Fiscon, yeah. F I S G O N. Right. With a little, um, not an umlaut, but a little thing above the, uh, yeah. above the G, yeah. Got a favourite? Oh, well, the favourite favorite Mr. Man book was always Mr. Forgetful growing up. All right. Um, so, yeah. Does I, it relate to that? What, how did you? Uh, it was. It was the funny. I did, yeah, relate to it, I guess, but way, but it's the funniest. Here comes uh, yeah. Doku trying to squeeze a cross in. No, three men around him, and that's cleared. Yeah, I, the one I could probably relate to most was Mister Clumsy. Oh, okay. Mm. Particularly liked it when he got wrapped up in a string of sausages. There's always <laughs> a string of sausages involved in Mister yes. Men books, isn't it? <laughs> did you have a favourite? Um, I'm not sure I did really. No, I not read them all. Mm. You're neutral across the board, were you? I, I like them all, really. There yeah. wasn't many I thought, oh, I'm not having him. No. I, I quite like them. There's a few new ones out now, which well, I'm, which are a little bit dubious. I mean, Mr. Adventure, I'm a bit dubious about. Yeah. There's also Mr. Nobody as well, which <laughs> I find quite, quite sad, quite vague. Is but it, has it? You'd imagine. He's got I've no not read f- it, but... He's got yeah. no friends. Yeah. I, mean, I always thought Mr. Invisible was a strange one, but... Yeah, does he? Yeah. I think, I think he's just playing tricks on people, isn't it? Oh, we've got a bit of cramp here. Bit first cramp, first bit of cramp of the match, yeah. Danny Carvajal. Mm. Do you but think this is part of Real Madrid's tactic now, just to sort of... Yeah, although he is getting on a bit, isn't he? Yeah. I'm not sure if cramp... I suppose cramp does strike a bit more when you get older, doesn't it? But I guess it's based on how hard you've worked as well. Yeah. They're going to make a change here, though. Can't say I've ever suffered it, have you? Not like that, no. Right. The occasional bout. I don't have ever... Have you never had it at all? I can't think that I have. Probably just means I haven't run around hard enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, no, I've had an occasional bout of it. Um, and it is, yeah. I mean, you, yeah. It does make you grimace. Doku's yeah. complaining. I think Doku's saying, they're wasting time. Yeah. He did, he did genuinely look like he might mm. have uh, might have been feeling it. Uh, they are going to make a change here. They yeah. are going to bring on... Well, it's Calvi who's going to go off. He's, he's sort of walking around straight legged. Yeah, Carvel's definitely going to go off. I'm trying to work out who this is. Isn't it? Um, is it Militao? Looks like Militao. I think it is Militao, yeah. 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 I mean, that would make sense as well, wouldn't it? Bring yeah. on a defender. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah. He's taking his time getting off as well, isn't he? Yeah. All the tactics from the uh, the time-wasting book here. Yeah. City getting a bit miffed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is Ancelotti just yeah. sort of letting it all just flow around him. Well, it's Cider as cool and calm as him, aren't they? Yeah. And Danny goes off for, I imagine, a rub down. Looks like Kovacic coming on for yeah. Stones as well. Stones look to be maybe taking some sort of training top off. Mm-hmm. I suppose Kovacic would be a penalty taker. Yes. I think Stones might take a penalty as well. Yeah, I think he took that. one for England, didn't he? At some point, I feel like I've seen him take one right. for England. Yeah, I mean, he's, Stones is a bit of a he's a bit of a Renaissance man, isn't he? he can do a bit of everything. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Is there anyone you wouldn't want taking a? I wouldn't want Doku taking a penalty. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't yeah. know why. I feel like he'd sort of try and like Rabona it or something. I think he'd do something silly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he, but he's only come on, so I don't know if he. Yeah, I just think he just wouldn't let him. I'd, uh, yeah, I'd I've go then. I'd go De Bruyne, um, Foden, Rodri. Does Kyle Walker take one? Bernardo Silva take one? Stones if he comes on. Kovacic definitely. Yeah. To be honest, they've got a lot, haven't they? Yeah. There's a shot from Real Madrid, volleyed over the bar. Yeah, they've got quite a few. Yeah, there's not many sort of, sort of. Docker's the only one who's a bit sort of. Yeah, I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have let Grealish take one if he was still on. Would you? Um. 
or not? Am I thinking just two? Am I just thinking of Mavericks? Right. Oh, De Bruyne's coming off here. Well. So De Bruyne's going he off. He won't take one then. No, he won't be. So Kovacic on for De Bruyne. A Kanji off for Stones. Yeah. Yeah, Kanji's probably not a penalty taker, is he? No. Ake? Probably not. I'd say he'll take a good penalty. Edison, probably. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably would, yeah. If he gets to that. Yeah. Well, if he gets to that, that's going to be very exciting. I kind of really... Now we've talked about it, I really want penalties. Yeah. We are still waiting for the goal. We said if we get a goal yeah. in extra time, we are going to give away the final free bet of the night. There is just around about eight minutes or so to get that goal. So fingers crossed, if you are waiting for a free bet and you're waiting very patiently in the clubhouse chat, then, um, yeah, fingers crossed we get that for you. It is likely to be to Man City, although Real Madrid have had a few half chances, haven't they, on the break? And they've got a free kick here. Yeah. So that's qualify market. Down it goes for Real Madrid. So they're now down to 2.28. Mm -hmm. City 1.59. Real Madrid are 12 to win it in extra time. City 3.75, the draw at 1.4. Ball in is cleared away. Edge of the area still. Real Madrid have a few players up and that will roll through to Edison. With a lot of men in the box Jumps there. Yeah. They did, yeah. That was probably the wrong pass, wasn't it, that? Don't know what else he could have done from there, but... I think I think this goes to penalties now. I can't... Yeah. I think City have slightly huffed and puffed all night a little bit. Mm. It's not been vintage City, has no. it? There's Doku jinking around, but... Good defending again. Another City corner. Yeah. Is that called number 18 for City? Let's have a check on that. Rudiger again. Getting across his man. Yeah, corner 18 corners to one they've had in this game. Good defending that, actually. Yeah, he is. Stop the shot coming in. Yeah, he sort of gets his shot away, but he mm. blocks it, smothers it straight And that away. could easily have come off the goalkeeper and gone out to any of those City yeah. players that were waiting. Yeah. Let's see what comes of this corner then. 114 minutes played and that is nodded away City recycle it so Roma do be thinking well we've seen off Haaland and De Bruyne yeah what's to fear they might be thinking <laughs> we can uh, we can see this out or even nick it Roma are just throwing themselves in front of players and actually they, they've won a free kick quite cleverly there Brahim Diaz just stood in front of um, Bernardo Silva and, and got brought down and therefore he, uh, he wins a free kick and they can just take their time. Yeah. Jen's had a meal deal. Excellent. Good. Oh, chili, chili jam brie and bacon sandwich. That sounds delicious. What? Does he have a chocolate section? <laughs> Dave's <laughs> only in it for the, uh, yeah. the sweet treats. You usually get chocolate or crisps, don't you, as an option in the meal deal? Is that right? It's chocolate or crisps, is it? Uh, you can get fruit. Yeah. But you're not interested in that, are you? I do often, because I've often got a bit of chocolate in my bag anyway. Oh, right, so okay, I feel yeah. I don't need to yeah. double up. Mm. Uh, yeah, you get sausage rolls. Oh, can you? Oh, okay. That's pork pies as well. It's a development of the meal deal I wasn't yeah. aware of. Yeah. yeah, you can sort of double up on the uh, sort of main course. Right, okay, interesting. My, my son always asks for pork pies. With Does he? Meat, yeah. Oh, life has changed since I last yeah. got a meal deal. Yeah. I always get a, um, if I don't get fruit, I'll get um, a lint. Oh, yeah, yeah. These salted caramel lint chocolate yeah, bar. They're Very good, nice. Yeah. We digress. We do, because City have just laboured a little bit. They are now making advances, though, coming into the Real Madrid uh, half towards the box, actually. Edge of the area. Bernardo Silva, he's trying to make he space for He thought about shot. a curler, didn't he? There's yeah. too many Real Madrid players in there. Yeah. It's not. They've not dealt with that completely, though, have they? And City have numbers forward. This is going to be fascinating if it goes to penalties. Yeah. I, I love it if... Um, Modric stopped block that, by the way. I really want to see... I want to see uh, whether they, the penalty research pays off. Yeah. If it's very it's, it's very rare you will get it that much of a discrepancy yeah. between the two keepers. Yeah. But we've got one who's pretty modest at them. We've got one who's brilliant at them. Yeah. I do agree. I think if, if, if this goes to penalties, which it seems increasingly likely... That price on Real Madrid, they were 2.98 before, they're now 2.22. Yeah. That's looking massive, isn't it? Yeah. Really big. I mean, City usually find a way, but they've got they've got this keeper to deal with, Lunin. Still, they could find a way past him in extra time. Well, Let's see. Yeah, might be. Maybe they need to. Yeah. Curled in. Nobody there. Nodded away. 
and then is out. Now the chance to break potentially. Yeah, it's just a little sneaky part of me that thinks Real Madrid on the break. Yeah, that's not the best of balls oh. though. We might just get like one moment on the mm. break. We've played 116 and a half minutes now. Real Madrid 18.5 if you think they can get some of the back. Guardiola's just taking a bit of a knock. Yeah, we are going to get a few minutes of additional time as well because we had the injury to uh, Carvial and we've also got this yes. injury here now to Guardiola. So we are going to get a couple of extra minutes, I think. I mean, he's up. He's, he's going to be all right, I think. Pep does look nervous, doesn't he? That beard's getting a good stroke, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like he's got lice in there. Mm. I'm sure he hasn't. Although he, well, he, he, won't have a, he won't have crumbs from a meal deal in there. He certainly won't. No, his, his last meal deal was at least yesterday, wasn't yeah. it? Mm. I expect he did get one as well. Yeah, a he's a meal deal man, isn't he? Yeah. Late from training, thinking, oh, yeah. can't be bothered to cook tonight. Mm. I suppose cause it's like tapas, isn't it? Because you can lay it all out. Yeah. Have it in sections. So a Spanish version of meal deal, like there is for Mr. Men. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> No, Mr. Now, Meal Deal. Yeah, now you're testing my research. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. changed, hasn't it? Yeah. Mr. Tapas. Yeah. Oh, that would be, yeah. Real Madrid pushing here. Let's see. Ball towards the back post, lofted in. That's nodded away for now, no, but Real Madrid have back. won it back. Ball in there. Oh, that's a poor cross. This is all still quite frustrating for City because they can't get up the other end yeah. of the pitch. Well, that was Modric with the poor mm. cross. It was all indeed. People. So 118 minutes play. We are going to find out how long we have additionally at the end in just a second. I like it from Dark Devil. I went to Birmingham, England in 2016. English sandwiches and breakfast attracted my attention. Oh, do let Dark Devil do let us know what, um, yeah, A, where you're from, and B, what, what, sandwiches, what, sam you what sandwiches particularly attracted your attention. And we're very intrigued by that. As Real Madrid break here, just nudged off the ball. They are just... Yeah, Kovacic did a bit of Give good defending. They might just have one little shot in them here. Yeah. Well, this all stops City, doesn't it, from getting down the other end. And that has gone out for a goal yeah. kick, I think. Edison gets uh, Bellingham in a cuddle. He'll take one, won't he? Penalty for Real Madrid. I thought you, thought you meant a cuddle. He probably will take yeah. a cuddle, yeah. yeah. Modric will take one, surely. Yeah, I think Bellingham. so. Uh, Dark Devils in Istanbul. Okay. Good to have you along, um, Dark Devil. Um, thanks for joining us. Thanks to everyone who's joined us, uh, whatever your time zone is, because I know for some people this is quite late now. And for some of you... Well, yeah, I saw Viv say it was something like 2 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. This, this is quite late, or certainly antisocial, so we do mm. appreciate you uh, sticking with us. Yeah, but we might be able to bring you the drama of a penalty shootout. We might, yeah, indeed. I hope we will. Get, get, when you get to this point in the game, it, it would be such a shame not to have a penalty yeah. shootout. Are well, the City going to try and do something about this? Try Test to the goalkeeper. Just warming up for his penalties. Although I didn't think that in the um, Carabao Cup final. No, of course not. When no. Van Dijk headed one in right at the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So this is dying embers. Yeah, we're into the last few seconds. We are indeed. I haven't, uh, haven't uh, seen how much we've got additionally uh, yet. Yeah, Oh, it's an awful way to go out, isn't it? Over two legs, can't be separated. Mm. They're just very, very equal, these two sides, aren't they? Very, very tactically adept. Yeah. One minute. Well, one minute away from a penalty shootout. So the betting... Yeah, the betting has closed right up. So that we've now got the penalty shootout winner price. Mm. City of favourites at 1.83, Real Madrid 1.99. It's 3.03 a.m. where Viv is, by the way. Yikes. Oh, by me. Uh, yeah. Um, I'd take Real Madrid penalty sheet at a winner 1.99, yeah. Um, under under over seven and a half goals in the penalty shootout? I think both. I think there'll be a lot of penalties scored. I'd go over. Scored? Overs. Yeah. From Real Madrid, I think Real Madrid probably stand a chance of getting, getting all five of theirs. If it's over no. seven and a half, you only need three City ones to go in. I th well, it depends if... I think Real Madrid will win the penalty shootout 4-3. Mm. It's just disappeared, by the way, but interesting yeah. market there. Under three and a half City penalties was 2.63. Yeah. Well, that's we're going to get penalties. We are indeed, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Penalty shootout, everyone. Mm. Right, well, the managers will take a few minutes to sort of work out. I think you said the managers will take one. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. It should be the new rule. Then, yeah, it? it should be, yeah. If you get to five yeah. and it hasn't been decided, the, man the manager has to go sixth. In yeah. their kind of work shoes. Yeah, yeah. Right then, penalties. Mm. Um, should we do that thing where um, where everyone takes a penalty? Everyone on the clubhouse chat, we yeah. assign a penalty. Uh, so I'll just get some paper here. Let's see, because uh, uh, Taff Nine A has said take the first. He'll take the first Madrid penalty. So, <laughs> okay, Dave, wh who do you want to take a penalty for, and which one? Me. Yeah, we're going to put you down for one. Okay, I want to. I want to take Madrid's third penalty. Madrid's third. Okay, that is Dave Tyndall. Uh, Taff, you're on the first Madrid penalty. Let us know. I am going to take the. I'm going to sit between you and Taff. I'm going to take Real Madrid's second. Let us know if you want to take a penalty for either side. Mm. Theoretically, yeah. of course. It's just a bit of fun. We always do this on the shootouts. If you want yeah. to be a put down for a penalty for either side, let us know the team. Let us know the number. Uh, third pen for any team, says Genetics. Uh, I'll put you down for City because Dave's got the yeah. uh, third for Real Madrid. So, uh, yeah, Veritas says go City. Fifth for City for Good. Marios. Good. I, I slightly feared this feature was dying on its backside, but it's... No, it's going strong, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. We need uh, first, second and fourth for City. Fourth and fifth for Real Madrid, if anyone is up for that. Uh, we'll assign Gen 1 as well, See, I think. In Marios's role in the dice there, he's gone for the glory, but the potential uh, yeah. villain of the piece if mm. he misses. Yeah. You're bold. You're very bold. Uh, so any more penalty takers? <laughs> Text from James Butler. I'll take a penalty for City. Okay. What can we give him? First? Second? Or Is fourth? first available? Yeah, first, second or fourth. Yeah. Find out which one he wants. Uh, we'll, give, you, we'll put Jenny down one as well in a moment. You can have first, I'm going to tell him. Okay. Tell you what, Jenny's going to take the fourth for Real Madrid after you, Dave. So we've got off. We've got one left for Real Madrid, and we've got three for City. Although James Butler is going to have one of those, so James, and I'm just and I'm just throwing my pen on the ground there. So I'm going to put you on for second. Okay, James is taking the first penalty for Man City. James is down, first for City. So we need a second, a fourth for City, and the very last penalty for Real Madrid. Let's see. Oh, Lubo's going second, City. Thanks, Lubo. Simu says fourth for Madrid. Okay. Yeah. In that case, then, Jenny is having the fourth for City. We now just need a fifth for Real Madrid. Who wants to take the fifth for Real Madrid? I mean, you could, put, be, the, you could be the match winner. Put your hands up. You could be the tie winner. Yeah, you could be. Yeah. Who, yeah. Wants, the, who wants the responsibility? Mm. Whose take. shoulders can, can hold it? So the referee just talking to the two captains. Mm. Yeah, come on. Who's taking the fifth? That's all we need. Oh, we do. Have we got the fifth for City? Uh, yes, that is Imarios. Yeah, so we need a fifth for Madrid. Mm. So here's how we stand so far. For City, James Butler on first, Lubo in second, Genetics third, Jenny on fourth, Imarios on fifth. Um, Alexi is going to take the fifth, I think. So uh, that's great. Thanks, Alexi. For Real Madrid, Taff on one, I'm on two, Dave's on three, Simu's on four, and Alexi's on five. So there we go. Thank you very much, everyone. That's a full complement of penalty takers. Penalty shootout winner, Real Madrid, 1.99. Manchester City, 1.83. Total goals in the shootout. Last chance to get on these markets, 1.95 over 7.5. 1.83 for under 7.5. Man City total, under 4.5. They've got wise to it, Dave. They've moved the line up. Under, under 4.5, 1.44. Over 4.5 oh, 4 is 2.63. And Real Madrid mm. over 3.5 is 1.67. Unders is 2.1. So Here we go. It looks like City are going to take the first, is it? Uh, just to let you know, I'm not doing the goal stab every time one, go, one goes in either. No. Looks like Alvarez is yeah. going to get us underway. He is. Oof, pressure, pressure. So, this is James Butler masquerading as... Alvarez. Alvarez, yeah. Well, James does quite like Alvarez. He used to have him in his fancy team quite mm. a lot. I thought you said he's quite like Alvarez. All right. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Either can take penalties. Mm. Come on, James. He's stepping up. Isn't there a stat that statistically, if you go first in the shootout, you've got a better chance of winning? Oh, I don't know about that. Down the years. It I, used to be the case, don't know yeah. whether it's levelled up at all. The referee's saying... 
telling them to stay on their lines. Yeah. Don't don't do a jersey jer- do deck and be saying, sort of halfway. Yeah. He's saying no funny business essentially, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. So Lunin has saved eight of his twenty two penalties, so he's a very, very good penalty stopper. Let's see where he goes here. What can Alvarez do? Yeah. James Butler stroke Alvarez. Mm. Fairly short run up, three steps. He's Goal. put it in. Goal, City. City lead. High to the keeper's left. Yep. I'm going to put a tick next to James, but- James Butler's name. Oh, so, man. Taff, first for Real Madrid. James is just typing now. Mm-hmm. He'll be bragging about that one. He'll be, uh, he'll be running around his living room, won't he? Yeah. Shirt over his head. Celebrating. Cool as custard, he says. Yeah. Luka Modric. Oh. Taff. 74-year-old Luka Modric. Here he is. That's uh, James, James. Yeah. With his cup of uh, Horlicks, whatever. <laughs> whatever he has at bedtime, yeah. Mm. Luka Modric, Modric lo- quite a long run-up, actually. Bam oh, save. save. Well, that's poor. That's... Taff, your penalty's been saved. I didn't like that penalty. Just no, like I didn't, no. Smash it. I would have thought he would have had more craft than that. Yeah, City now in to 1.21, Real Madrid 4.4. It's just so, yeah, it's not in the corner. It's just a bit of a scuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good, that. Not a good penalty at all. So here's... Lubo. Lubo. Stroke Bernardo Silva. Lubo Bernardo Silva. Well, they've lost the ball. Yeah. It doesn't help. No. Have they? <laughs> Where is it? There's no ball. Yeah. Oh, it's come, oh, it's back, come back from the someone crowd. Someone in the crowd has... Someone was hoping for a souvenir, weren't they, there? Mm. Doesn't help uh, Bernardo Silva, does it? If you no. delayed. You can't imagine he would miss somehow. No. He's no. too sort of cute, isn't he? To mm. Well, we shall see anyway. Here we go, then. Left-footed. Lubo, this is you. Up he steeps. Oh, oh, keepers read him. That was not cute at all. Read him like a book. Yeah, that was poor. He's, he's had a poor game, hasn't he, as well, because he missed that chance earlier on. He's basically gone down the middle. The keeper's just stood there yeah. and just sort of caught it. That's the easiest penalty save you've ever seen. I wonder if, a reprieve wonder if the keeper's got lucky, though. He's, mm. he's, he can read things better yeah. than the keepers. I heard Brad Friedel on the radio the other day mm. about how we could tell where. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, okay, interesting. Is this, is this Bellingham? Uh, yeah, this is me. <laughs> You're a fantasist. I wish. You yeah. are not Stuart Bellingham. <laughs> no, here I am. He do not miss, does he? He wouldn't no, miss. No, I, would, I wouldn't miss this. Here I am stepping up. Yeah, oh, of course there we go. I've, t- I've tucked it home. Just I've Stuart Bellingham. Yeah. I have tucked that away. Mm. So one all on penalties. Next up, yeah. genetics. So we're no further forward. Dave, are you, are you limbering up for yours? You're next off Real Madrid after this? Yeah, I'll be fine, yeah. Sure, no cramp? I'm fine, I'm good to go. Okay, excellent. It's Kovacic, who came on as a sub. Yeah, we thought we thought yeah. he would come on for penalty With purposes. With a penalty in mind. Yeah. I'm fascinated by Looney, though, whether he's mm. he's got this sort of extra perception of where spot kicks go. Can he wouldn't he wouldn't dare just wait down the middle again, no. would he? Can he read Kovacic? Let's see. Oh, he, he saved, saved it again. Wow. There you go, you see. Wow. This guy me. saves penalties. He does. That's now... Thanks for the tip-off, by the way, on the, on the chat. So according to my quick maths, he's now saved 40% of his penalties. Yeah. 10 and, wow. 10 and 15. And that wasn't an awful penalty, that, either. That, would, that was heading towards the corner. That wasn't as bad as the other one, was it? It must right. be good if you're a keeper and you sort of know you save him. You must have yeah. that just... Oh, look at you doing some kick, fancy kick-ups yeah. here, Dave. Yeah. I never liked seeing that. Do you know? Ryan Giggs did it once. He sort of... Yeah. He sort of juggled the ball and then missed it. Here you are then, you're Lucas Vasquez. Come on, Lucas. Come on, me. He's switching direction late. Oh, a little stutter, 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 bang, goal. He scored it. Well done, Dave. You've put that in. So that's 3-2, right? Yeah. So if City missed, they're done, are they? No, 2-1. So how many have we had? That was the third. The We're th- three each? Yeah, yeah. Real Madrid have scored two. Man City have scored one. Yeah. That's a great penalty. Next up, right in the corner. Well, next up, it's Jenny taking one for Man City. And then we've got Simu on duty for Real Madrid. So if City miss this and Real Madrid scores, is that it? That's it, yeah. That'll be 3-1, that'll be, that'll be yeah. If City miss and Real Madrid score, that'll be 3-1, yeah, yeah. Phil Foden. Scored it. Yeah. 
Well dispatched, Jenny. But if Real Madrid just complete the set now, mm. they're through. Tell you what, he didn't faff about there, did he? No. Straight up, straight in. Right. right who's next? Simu for Real Madrid. Which is also... Who's this? Stepping up. It's Nacho, isn't it, this, I yeah, think? Yeah, Nacho, number mm. six. Big, Here he big is. moment. You know, they'll they kick away if this goes in. As he cool as you it. like. Yeah, well done, Simu. You've put that in. Score then, it's... 3-2 to Real Madrid. One penalty left each. So City missed the... That's it. Yeah, it's done, yeah. And if Real Madrid score, they're through. So yeah. they've got two chances to win this mm. now, haven't they? Yeah. Because City absolutely on the brink of losing yeah. their crown here. It's in Marios here now. Mm. Oh, it's Edison. It's there Edison. you go, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you said it, didn't you? Well, fat. keeper against keeper. Edison. City's treble, treble, double he's a, treble. He's a quirky right character. On the line. He scored oh, it. Oh, it's a great it's a good, penalty. It is a good penalty, that, isn't it? Good yeah. penalty. So stroked into the corner. Yeah. So, apps, but City... Absolutely looking down the barrel here. Mm. If Real Madrid score, they are through. Alexi. Alexi, you could send Real Madrid through here. It's a great penalty, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a really good penalty. So Edison scored one. Can he save them? He's a good character, isn't he? Can he keep them alive? Who's it going to be? Is it Rudiger? It's going to be Rudiger, Tony yeah. Tony Rudiger. He's had, a really, he's had a really good game, hasn't he, Rudiger? Yeah. Be a shame to spoil it. Puts the ball on the spot. Mm. This is it. This is to knock Manchester Someone's City out. Someone's furiously texting behind uh, Carl Ancelotti there. This is to knock them out. Yeah. Short run. Real Madrid. Relatively short run up. Rudiger. Can he do it? He scores! It. Real wow. Madrid are through. Manchester City are out of the Champions League on Ooh. penalties. As Dave said, it's a cruel way to go out. But Real Madrid dispatched four of their five penalties. Man City... Did yeah. not. We said they've got the keeper. They've got the keeper mm. to make the difference, and he's made a difference. He has. Andre Lunin, bit of a hero after tonight. So if you took that price of 2.98 on Real Madrid to qualify in extra time, not in extra time, but at the start of extra time, the price was 2.98. You're laughing now. Great. Well, there we go. Drama. We've ended with some drama, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Well done to everyone who scored their penalty, by the way. Um, and it was Alexi. Who puts um, Real Madrid through? Well done, Alexi. As Bellingham, cool. Bellingham yeah. runs to the Real Madrid contingent in the crowd. So Bayern and Real Madrid are going through. Dave, what does this mean for the coefficient? <laughs> yeah. Mm, not good, is it? Not good at all. So not yeah, good. so we've now got a semi-final of Bayern against Real Madrid. So Real Madrid they always seem to find a way, don't they? They so. do. Mm. Um, and they were fat. I mean, that half of the draw was the sort of stacked one. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it could be Real Madrid PSG final. Yeah, not your Manchester City PSG final that you were no. you were dreaming of. Yeah. So Pep shaking hands, but yeah. So all the all the big three in the uh, title, English Premier League title race have suffered big setbacks, mm. haven't they, over the last few days? Liverpool and Arsenal losing in the. Premier League. Well, enough it's the enough post. Really yeah. right in the corner for I don't Rudiger. think he. I don't think he hit that as cleanly as he wanted. No, I no. it, but yeah. So Arsenal then going out tonight, and now City have gone out tonight. So mm. they'll all be a bit sort of. A be licking their wounds, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, there we go. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. It's been tremendous fun having the penalties to cap things off. Bayern and Real Madrid are through, and Clubhouse TV will be back tomorrow with the Europa League. Dave won't. He's going to be in his cinema room, but. Can Liverpool turn it around? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> God, I already put you on the spot. They've got a smidgen of a okay. chance. I'm okay. not saying I'm not. It's no, not, he's not committed. It's, I don't it's really. not a hard no. No. Okay. Get that first goal. We'll see. Yeah. We'll clip that up. Right. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, Dave. Cheers, Jack. Yeah, I we'll, enjoyed that. We'll both be back very soon. And don't forget to join us tomorrow for more chances to win free bets and enjoy all of the Europa League action, of course, here on Clubhouse TV. Covering every. Covering every game of the English Premier League, Champions League and Europa League live as they happen. This is Clubhouse TV.